Hey, 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 yo, what up, what up, (laughs) man, what's up with it, it is a Monday, we are here, we are nine minutes later than usual, but we've been on, we've been doing great, let us, let us get our shit together for a little bit, we apologize, (laughs) Yeah, man. I ain't but, got my shit. Yeah, I got my shit straight before I got on. I'm good <laughs> to go. <laughs> First thing, smoking. I don't know if y'all seen it. I saw it. I wrote it down. It looked like Lady A in this thing thing. Lady A in this thing. Let me go ahead and get a- the woos a- ready. A- Shout out to Lady A for being First Thing Smoking. And just to let y'all know, Right behind Rima was right there, and that girl Ty, who changed her name <laughs> to that girl Ty, Taisha, the lovely dancer, was in third, and she was pissed that she didn't get it. But <laughs> before we even run down anything, I'm gonna put it on the screen first because I already got it prepared. I just want y'all to know what the numbers are nice and early. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, y'all see it as of Monday, today's the 12th. Joy B still got three, but Keeper got three, Vanessa got three, and Lady A just got one tonight, so now she's up to this three. Oh, okay. I'm about to say this. Oh, no, nah, this is her third one. Get, yeah, this yeah, yeah, is her third one tonight. I made sure as soon as I saw it, I, I edited it and everything. So she's up to three. She's in first place, tied with those four, or them four is tied for first place. Lindy got two, Rima is love got two, Latasha has one, and that girl Ty has one as well. Just so y'all know what the numbers is, it's running close. Just when we thought Joy B was going to have it, Miss Keeper came. Just when we thought Miss Keeper was going to take it, Vanessa came. And next thing you know, Vanessa got a little, little, little relaxed. Lady A came through, man. So mm. these numbers are getting tight. These numbers are getting pretty tight, man. All, so. four, all four of them are neck to neck. Ah, wait, let me get that. Uh... Goddamn heathens. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn heathens. Shout out to Lady A, heathens. man. All right, man, let's go ahead and get this rundown, man. The vibe check, see who up in here, man. Show some flowers and things like that, man. Man, y'all already know, first thing smoking was Lady A, followed up with Miss Rima. Man, uh-huh. we got a newcomer, but an old comma. That girl ties in the building. Uh huh. Followed up by Miss Keeper. Hey, hey. Oh, Jaden in the building early. What's up? With I know. Thanks for early. Hey, dog. First guy, the first guy in the building. Then we got the uh the mama Sita, you know, the sexy. Hey, uh, Vanessa. Vanessa in the building. Uh, then we got the oh honey sweet lady bonbon. She didn't change, she Ooh, didn't got oh, real man. nasty with that name. Honey <laughs> lady bonbon. Bon bon, uh-huh. you know, up by Miss Crystal, aka. Mrs. No Bacon is in the building. Hey. Round of applause for the sponsor being in the building. We love and appreciate you. Yes, Lord. Up, oh, Miss Niece is in the building, aka Miss B Leak. Hey. Yes, Lord. Amazing Day is in the building. Hey, hey. My man Moose in the building early too. Let's go What's up, nice man? and Moose? early. Nice and early, uh, Moose. I see you. Samaya B is in the building. Hey. Hey. Freckles. Freckles. Hey, hey, oh, special K, y'all know, formerly known as ah. Karen, but <laughs> hey, Miss Karen is in the building. Love it, love uh-huh. it. Natasha Ross, aka Mrs. Art Bay, in the building. As always. Alan in the building, third fella for the night. My What's guy. Uh oh, the guy. fellas might be coming through a little thick. Did- Wait a second, that didn't say Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Pause. Uh, Hold on, Mikey hold on. in the building. Nah, you ain't gonna escape this. <laughs> <laughs> he got his sounds now. He says, <laughs> Mikey in the building. Oh, building. my hope, my bestie in the building. My boy, my Shoot man, TV in the building. What's up with it, Shoe? My man, Shoot. What's good, man? Ah, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, shit. Let's who see. Let's see. Let's see some there? of the same faces. Same faces. Glenda is in the building. Hey, hey, got me this hey, dope hey. ass super. Yeah, I'm drinking out of that thing tonight. Uh mm-hmm. uh oh. Okay, and then we got uh oh yeah. I I, I skipped some people, but I, y'all know I see my baby in the building. Hey, Red Uh-oh. Crown, Red, Red Crown. Crown Life is in the building. 
That's my boo. Y'all know every, every time he get there, man. He, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just yeah. takes him there, man. It takes him there. Rogue Diva. I don't know who that is. I think I saw that name before, though. Where we at? Where we at? Wow, he Rogue, even though she was there last episode. Yeah, I laughing I her ass that. off. Yeah, oh, shout man. out to Rogue Diva. Oh, oh my no. design oh. building. Miss Belinda. No Miss Belinda in the building. What's up with it, B Dub? My Duke's up in here. Letitia Glenn is in the building. Lindy is in the building. Hey, Lindy, let's Ooh. go. Uh oh, somebody else boo in the building. Amaya uh, Desire is in hey, the hey. building. Hey, hey, look, 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 Mo. Oh, that made a motherfucker uh. look up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out because he said it earlier and you laid his shit. Hey, <laughs> hey. The building, yeah, he- y'all know our favorite robot is in the building. GGB33 is in the building. Hey, oh, hey. Robot. Yes, Hell Lord. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tiffany Quizak is in the building. TQ. Oh, I see Mikey. Shout outs to uh, Mikey, man. He he hooked me up with a haircut the other day. My ass uh, is right. it. Okay. I okay. cleaned my beard up this morning, nigga. Shit, I feel all right. Everybody, look, Mike, y'all, I'm roughing it out till Wednesday. You feel my me? hair ain't I, shit though. I gotta get this t- shit done. But Tanaya is in the building. Hey, Tanaya, I talked to her earlier. What's up, babe? Um, we got I my man Chuck it. up in here. I, oh, What's up, cuz? Yeah, I got to scroll back because my shit just jumped all the way down. Bernadette Cox is in the building. What's up with it, B-Diddy? Hey, B-Diddy. J, a.k.a. Miss Dolph is in the building. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, she neglecting the shit out of us. I'm going to smack hey. those unless your motherfucking ass. We man. might have full house tonight, man. man this is no looking bullshit. a little full this, right this, here. This just, yeah, this shit running it up. I don't, and I can't, I didn't mind skip. So if I miss yeah. y'all, please blame it on my brain. And it looked like heart. you got everybody, though. I'm looking right it's now. Like it looked like you got everybody. my piggy bank. Oh, <laughs> that shit looks dope. Is that supposed <laughs> to be up? <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. I, I always say I had to go get it from the room. Yeah, this is my. Man. First off, baby. let's give a shout out to that because y'all didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Customized by the one and only. Yeah, I can't see this. This is all green. How he had the shit come out of his mouth, but yeah, out his mouth. It's fucking with my That's damn lit, backdrop. No bacon, man. That's Morty on the side. This nigga, right? Look at his little scary ass. <laughs> his that is dope, man. Shout out to No Bacon as always, man. Being very creative. Love it, like love it. Evil. <laughs> oh, Mr. Burns and shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get right into the show, man. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start us off with a... Hey, welcome to the Live Vibes Podcast, man. Every Monday and Friday around 9 o'clock Eastern time, we come live with the vibes. As you can see or as you can hear, we're going ahead giving up the shout outs, man. Everybody who's up in here, you're showing love, giving flowers, man. We appreciate everybody for pulling up on a Monday night. The more y'all we see pull up in here, man, we're going to shout y'all out. So make sure you hit the chat up just to say what's up. We appreciate y'all, as always. And shit, let's go ahead and get right into it, man. Without further ado, Flatliner, go ahead and bring us in, my G. Man, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Flatliner. But Mr. Flatliner to you, if you ain't part of the crew, what's up with it? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Rated. If it ain't live vibes, I can't fade it. Last but not least... We have it's the king. It's mm. me. It's the K I N G. <laughs> it's me. As I pet my piggy bank. <laughs> my piggy bank. I pet my piggy bank. Pet, pet your pig. Pet my pig. I'm with it, man. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it, man. Um, all right, let's go ahead and check these vibes, man. See how we are doing, man. How's everybody mental space? How was y'all weekend, man? How y'all feeling? Man, weekend. Cool, man. I had all of the little ones. Um, so I was cooling with the little ones this weekend. You know, we relaxed, chilled, cut up a little bit. Um, I've been tired, of course. Y'all know I be tired, but vacation is coming soon, man. So, you know, I'm all right, man. I'm cool and I'm, I'm making it, man. Everything cool for me. I feel like you've been on a vacation once a month. This whole year so far. Be on a vacation no bullshit. It's the fourth month. I think this is fourth vacation. Or at least fourth trip. 
for sure. <laughs> oh no. Uh, this is definitely your fourth trip so far. Dog, you travel more than me in like two months than I can do. That's what I'm saying. In the past like three <laughs> months. I know he was in Florida. Was he in Florida once this year? No, that wasn't this year. See, y'all, you tried. Y'all, I'm, no, that, nah, you you might have been. That wasn't this year. That was All last right. year. Was you in Atlanta this year? It was if was in six months. Shit. Yeah, I was in it. That's all I did this year was Atlanta. Was Atlanta. Nah, you was in Vegas too. Your yeah. birthday. Yeah, all right. Vegas. Vegas. Uh-huh. Vegas. <laughs> that was it. All right, Thank well, and it, all right, so then we got this one coming. So you, so you three down. All right, I'm gonna keep count because this shit, this shit, wow. You probably had three canceled by now, too. So, yeah, you should I, be on your I, like six. I, 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 I would have been in Florida, uh huh, but I couldn't go because of the little yeah, incident you had at work set, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that should have been four, but you had three. All right, yeah. That's wild, man. But yeah, man, just just fucking with you a little bit. Um, my weekend was cool. Um, spent it all working and stuff, man. We we was we was cracking up and the chat about the weather fucking with us all weekend. And I actually wanted to get out and try to enjoy it a little bit, but I couldn't, man. Um, everybody's scared about fucking Sunday. I could have been fucking hiking. Man, listen, when you gotta, my thing was about just the the, the flyer promotion and all that stuff, giving people, you know, saying at least a little bit of leeway. Um, and then the weather did say it was going to rain all weekend, so I get it. But who, 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 who the fuck listens to the weather, man? These niggas don't know shit. <laughs> it's a probability, you know. I don't know, but overall, man, I just I sat in here and worked the whole time, man. Couldn't really get out and do much this weekend, but um, it was all worth it, man. Uh, woke up to some some great some great uh cash apps and oh. and, and, and look at you, you think some more free shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cash How many forty dollars did you receive? Hey, that oh, motherfucker said I woke up to some good, uh, some good, uh, <laughs> yeah. cash apps. Oh, yeah, nah, cash nigga, apps. I, my yeah, fucking yeah. job called me right. They called me, and I was just like, oh, here we go. So I look and I'm scrolling. You, you know, all the notifications from the from the like, you know, when you were asleep, and two of them motherfuckers was like, oh, you've been paid by this, and then the other ones like, you've got sent this. I'm like, oh shit, I'm nigga, I'm wild awake. Fuck that, it's yeah, money in the yeah. motherfucking bank, nigga. I was hype, man. But uh, yeah, no, nah, I feel good, though, man. It made me feel better about the weekend, just fucking being locked in here and just working hard, man. So other than that, that's all I've been doing, man. Just trying to get to it. Getting a lot of shit done, man, being very productive. Overall, my mental space is good. I'm in a good space, man. Having a great week so far. It's only been two days, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. <clears throat> King, what about you, man? How you feeling? How was your weekend? I'm tired. My weekend was work, 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 work. I wish uh, DJ Sheesh was in the motherfucking building because... Uh, what? Saturday. Yeah, I seen him this weekend. Saturday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as I got off work, I had to do a party. So I had to shoot an mm-hmm. event. And he was the DJ there, and I was the photographer. So that was, that shit made me tired right after we're doing it. It was interesting. Yeah, boy, mm-hmm. it was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay. Mm. So I gotta edit some uh those pictures later on. Boy, was that shit interesting. <laughs> yeah. Made you wish uh, you weren't working? No, no, no. I'd rather be uh, I ain't never gonna want to turn down money, but it's just interesting to just just be around. Like the, what I was looking at and taking to take pictures of. I took look, put it like this. I took about seven hundred or something pictures. God Yeah, damn. this is like a small party. It was just this shit that was going on. Oh yeah. That's a that's a so, good party then. Yeah, but then I got home late, and I damn near slept all day Sunday. Tanaya mm-hmm. came through and stopped to visit me, called me sleeping a few times. I was so fucking gone. And her, and her new whip, she pulled up. Nah, she ain't pulled up on whip, though. I think she oh. was going by. She's so tiny. I almost wanted to bench press her. Yeah, she's she's so <laughs> tiny and cute. I was like, oh, you didn't grow up but so much. I'm right along with Miss No Bacon. Tell us more, King. Why was it interesting? Mm-hmm. Oh I mean, well, seven hundred something yeah. pictures. That's some good shit there. Especially for a small venue, that's yeah, really good. It was it was somebody's one. I didn't really know the details. I still didn't even know the details before I got there. It was way out fucking Virginia, so I had to go all the way out there. Then it was like a a lingerie party for this girl's birthday. Mm. So it's like oh the people in lingerie, which was cool. I'm not thinking about this shit. But then they they had a male stripper. And she wanted me to uh, capture everything. 
So I was like, <laughs> she's like, are you comfortable? I was like, dog, look, I shot in strip clubs before. So this ain't shit to me. But it was just interesting. Like, actually, he was the dude was a good performer. He was a good performer. He ain't get <laughs> ass naked, like butt ass naked. So wait a second. So so you enjoyed the show. You wasn't really <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I enjoyed the pictures I took because it's going to make me look good because I got good shots. Okay, got you. So when to be you able to capture shots, shit. And they... Explain to me what good shots are to a male good. entertaining band. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to know. I mean... Just this this thing like just anything. Well, I, mean, I don't and for Miller, it's turning in dancing. He would probably like some of the shots too. Just of the performance he was doing and the look on certain people's faces. I say, like, if he had a candle, man, this nigga. He, he had a candle. We know <laughs> how we know how how King feels about candles. He was doing some shit and like just the the, the certain at getting a certain angle of what he was doing and capturing his face, the person face he's doing it to, and another person. Yeah, it was it was good for me. Like it was just good shots. For your portfolio, I got you. Not for my portfolio, for them. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, your name, sure your name's attached for. to that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, oh, like, oh, yeah. And I was taking notes too because he did some shit. I was like, I didn't know that was mm. possible. Yeah. <laughs> like, I did not know this King was taking this notes. possible to fucking do. Because this look, this motherfucker literally picked up one chick, had her on his shoulders like he was eating her out, but then. Like had one girl bent over, had another one in his shoulders, like like a mom, damn near motherfucker three. So I was like, well, God, I've seen that what? one time. That's how actually, you do this shit, huh? Yeah, that's I've how seen you that do shit. this shit. This I've seen shit, that shit like, you before. gotta be a strong motherfucker to be trying to sit there like eating a broad out and hit another from from the back. And I was like, okay, so, okay, so buddy. They, so Crystal and Lindy want to know what's his name, Playboy. What's his name, Playboy? You know, I got pictures of the shit. So once I edited shit, I'll post like just a shot of him. He was some light skinned dude. He was a light skinned dude. That's all I Did he have dreads? Nah, he ain't had dreads. And they trying to figure this nigga out. I nah, thought Chris was through the party. But for some reason, <laughs> I feel like I seen this nigga before. So mm-hmm. he's local somehow. I seen him before, but I not not on oh, no so no sugar shit. I just I just remember seeing his face before. When he got in regular clothes, I was like, nigga, I seen you before. Like, but I don't know where the fuck I see you at. Probably like at a regular uh, mm-hmm. spot or some shit, or maybe Crystal on the fly. Is so she's like, "Yo, it is Playboy, definitely." So she must what? know that nigga. Yeah, she know she know a lot of them. Y'all he know she like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he had like he cool, does curly hair. Paint. Ladies, she does nude sipping paints, and it. That's does... why I said I, I feel like she threw this event. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! And he like he gonna put a trainer. Person. Yeah, and he did like one position. I was like. I'm gonna try that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try that right there. So we 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 know that there's candles inside of this treasure chest that King has for sure. No, if we don't know. Just, any- no, I, just, I like the shot I caught with him with the candles. Yeah, I'm just I'm just picking like, like, some candles, of the shots bro. I like. If you look at my shots I took, I, and then this is what I like. You could see how the whole party went, and it was dope mm. to me. You see, crazy. like piece by piece how everything went to basically boost their shit. And I like I said, I like the people get their money first when I, when I shoot for them. Giggity. That's what's up, said, man. Peace, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because you like, like, you can see like, like the beginning, all right, people coming in. Right, everybody you fine, man. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking <laughs> I didn't even think you was going to go no homo that deep into it, but you... <laughs> oh, no, when it's money involved, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, nah, that was money dope, involved, dope, dope. I, Yeah, I work, Joe. I ain't like, look, do y'all... You didn't pick none of his money up off the floor, did you? I helped him pick the shit up and gave it to the... He had a dude picking his shit up. Like I said, I'm used to working in strip clubs. So like I I know help get the money off, give it to whoever's collecting the shit, move that shit out the way, keep it moving. Raider said he'll help you edit some of those photos if you need. Nah, he ain't. <laughs> yeah. well, no, he probably would, because like I said, there was a lot of ladies in lingerie, and and it, it was like you probably would want to help edit that shit. Not that that part, but but it, no. it like like he like to me, he was just like a regular, he was a performer type. So he yeah, wasn't no. like 
He wasn't doing no crazy shit, so all right, I ain't, ain't no problem. He ain't hit the move you hit when you got your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> this shit was smooth. Was... <laughs> oh, he got the he got the genuine pony joint going. Yeah, on. Yeah, the little pony shit. I was like, okay. Uh, 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 that motherfucker like, ooh, get it, boy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his, no. My eyes are closed and I can see his face. I can see King <laughs> on his knees and everything trying to get different angles and shit. He was probably that, wow. That man be, he be working, man. You know, what, you know what? You know what I actually enjoy? Because I like the people he picked and I like the people that the, the look on their face. Mm-hmm. You know how like, you pick a female and then you know that one but like that when it looks like she's just was waiting, like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to see somebody giving the form, and then the, the person is like, I could think the mother they get... was horribly excited. A girl that was being shy, of course, she, he went for that one, gave her a performance, and it was just funny because, like, I'm seeing, I, I'm since I'm shooting them, I know who's the shy one, who's the raunchy one, who's the chill one. So, like, I, I could see people pick out the people, and he picked out those certain ones, and it was good to see that shit, and it was funny, made for good pictures. Oh, man. It sound like a dope event, man. And then it was like, and they let male strippers get away with anything. Oh yeah, like, for they, sure. They touch you anywhere. Yeah. Like, how does this not like a job for one of us? Like, because women make the rules. Job. Women make the rules, dog. dog when it comes to that type of shit, anything. Women, women will let anything fly if it's comfortable for them. Even right. when it comes to the strip clubs that we go to, the women are the strippers. But guess what? They still make the rules. Don't touch dog. me. Don't do this. Don't do that. Like, women the rules all over the board, man. No, no, no. Don't say he was touching them every day. Yes, because they allowed it. They make the oh, rules. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting there. Yeah. Like, he was under a girl. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting. I'm sitting here with my mask on. Like, this is so much COVID. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, much it COVID. is, is so a lot of COVID, COVID in this motherfucker. Like, nigga. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. I'm sitting here wiping my hands, watching them with the motherfucking. Uh, uh, the shit. What the shit called? The anti bacteria. Anti bacteria. Like these motherfuckers is, is too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but the shit man, was funny. Man. It was good. That's dope, man. <laughs> so well, shit, I'm glad everybody weekend was cool, man. Um, before I get into these uh these ended questions, man, I'm gonna go ahead I since it is Monday. Was, uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to my guy holding down for the guys. The guys are doing it up right now, man. Let's give it up to my man, Ant, a.k.a. Chaos. I don't know if I've seen him in the comments tonight, but shout out to him for being Merch Monday tonight. He's rocking the Black History Vibes tea. You know what? Crystal is right. It was that nigga. <laughs> oh, it was him? Yeah, it was him. <laughs> DC Playboy, thank me later. Yeah, man. Shout out my guy, Ant, man, for being uh, Merch Monday tonight. What's that nigga right Let me make sure I check that off my list. And lastly, I usually wait till we get after certain things, but I just know this shit. I ain't got time for the night, man. Um, I don't think we moved again, y'all. Uh-uh, when it comes we to this stay, stuff we shit. still at 367. And we just gonna sit the fuck there. All right, this is the longest stretch we've had it's without 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 any moving. This is this has been the longest that it's been um uh, without no numbers moving and shit. So definitely gotta uh I'll take partial partial credit for that, man. We got to get this promo game cracking. I mean, like I told you, I've been busy with so many clients, man, trying to get this stuff off my plate. It's been going well, but fuck, we got to get some promo going. So that's what time it is. Uh, got everything on my list out the way. Let's get into these world culture vibes so we can get into these uh, any questions and topics. So we got a lot to cover tonight. And yeah, that's it. Um, and all the ladies are going to Instagram now. Y'all crazy as fuck. <laughs> Um, no, no, right. no, no. I, I'm gonna say, yeah, go, go to Instagram, go check cuz out. Like, I'm, a, I'm a, about business. Dude did a good performance, so look him up. He was good. Check he was professional. Out, he gave a show. I'm all. I like. He, well, mostly when I go see females, when I, well, when I worked the show, cause I see females. I like the show performance. And first time seeing a dude, he did a good performance. So, he was all good. Right. He was cool. So, yeah. well, shout out go to check that him guy, out. Man. Make another sure black go man through. saying, "Go shout another black man what he's doing." <laughs> At DC Playboy, yeah, check he was that good. Man out. Cool. Yeah, 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 check him out. 
I want a Royal Blue Live Vibe shirt. Hey, go go get one. Go to the store. They in there with your name all over it. We would appreciate it. Then send it to us, man, so you could be on this Merch Monday. Hey, hey, and look, tell them, if y'all do go check them out, y'all get them. Tell them Crystal and I, I, we promote his ass on here. Probably get them on here to speak some shit. I don't fucking know. They gonna write Live Vibes <laughs> on his chest on his next show? <laughs> shit, gonna, shit, promo, <laughs> nigga. Fuck that. Cross promote. What the fuck? But anyway, all right. I hate to start this off like this, but I always do. Try to get the worst news out the way first. I really don't know where to start, um, but in Minnesota, there was a shooting. Um, a guy named Dante Wright was shot and killed by an officer. Um, I I really don't want to deep dive into this, but the story pretty much is got pulled over, said it was because it was he had a tree hanging from his visor. They stopped him. Really? Uh, that's what supposedly what the stop was about. Stopping niggas for air freshness now? Yeah, you know, because you can't have nothing hanging from your body. Obstruction of view. You can't have nothing hanging from nothing your thing. From your, yeah, 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 yeah. So many people that was supposed to reason. Some shit hanging, but go ahead. Yeah, and then um, that turned into them running his stuff. They found out that he had a warrant or whatever, and the warrant wasn't even a big deal, honestly. But he he wasn't with the shit, so he tried to kind of like you know resist arrest. Should I say? Um. And the female cop said that she, you know, he needs to stop before she tase him. So she pulled out her, you know, gun to tase him and said that she accidentally pulled her pistol out and shot him. Shot yeah, him one. Fuck. And he died. And it's just a fucked up situation. Um Yeah. They say she indeed tried to reach for her taser. And you can hear her on camera say, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you. Um, but the two guns are complete. They built completely different. They don't look the same. They don't feel the same. Nothing. I don't see how you make that. I'm. I'm not. I'm still nah, not buying that because that's, that's negligence bullshit. as a cop. There's no way that that should be okay at you all. Don't need if to you be a cop, make, yeah. if you're, it sounds great. Say if you're making that mistake, you're not ready for the streets yet. Fuck no. So now it's people all over uh minnesota right now riding and going crazy they on top of fucking police cars and trucks stomping shit out they it's it's getting ugly again we we back at it again with this type of energy man and it sucks that this has to happen it's just it's too repetitive man um but prayers are going up um to dante rice family he was with his girl i think his mom was on the phone all that shit man like it was it was a mess um but more of this is going to be brewing. They still going through this George Floyd stuff, like in court, still uh, trying to make sure that everything's right with his death and things like that. And then now we have another one to worry about. And it's just it's tough, man. But, um, yeah, look into that. if Y'all want to see more on it. Um, as far as more rough news, um, right after DMX is passing on Friday, um, it came out probably a day or so later that Black Rob um is going through a lot of health complications um a video was posted with him in the hospital suffering from all types of strokes and it's yeah he he, he looks bad man so i think they do have a gofundme trying to uh really? get some things together for him yeah because they say that he's currently homeless um Damn, like rob like, yeah whoa. he's homeless so he suffered kidney issues and things like that in his past and i think his health is getting the best to him him being homeless you know what i'm saying probably not getting the right nutrition like he just fucked up right now so they've been trying to get him some help and, you know, lift him up through these rough times. So, so crazy. Man. man, you already know how that goes. I don't know if he's going to do something. Um, if he do, he don't. I don't know. But it don't make no sense, bro. It's like certain shit just don't make it no sense. It should not happen. Like, it should never yeah, happen. Yeah, bro. I mean, I ain't saying big them up and put them in a big mansion or something but it's no way people like that should just be that Homeless. fucked up yes not when Period. you got diddy going you know no 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 because no, no. yeah, my man my man looking bad man so prayers up to black robin hope everything gets well with him um other than that i think the rest of this news is uh just pretty interesting um, nothing bad else <clears throat> to worry about because it ain't that much. All right, so Kanye West Yeezys with Adidas is officially the most valuable shoe in history. I'm gonna give him a round of applause. Shout out to him and Adidas for that. <laughs> Me personally, I'm not a fan of the Yeezys at all. Don't have a pair, don't want a pair. Bruh. I like 
Some it's of them not, are comfortable it, as fuck. No, I heard <laughs> it's the best part of the shoe that they're extremely comfortable. That's what comfortable. I heard about. Yo, I'm a huge fan of the Yeezys. Uh, the, the bitches the make me want to go like, running. They make me want to <laughs> go running. That's how they're not the, light and comfortable to y'all. You right? Oh, you know what? So, I'll probably buy your ass pair of Yeezys one day, Joe. The, if that's the case, then I'll wear them. I'll run in them. I'll do whatever. I forgot I'll do. I nah, don't run in them. Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> oh, you just say you want to go run it. It makes me want to run in them. I'm okay, not going for them. You know how I am with shooting. Nah, don't all right, just let like me that. know. I said yeah, you should know. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So the it's I think just the Yeezys in general. Um, I'm a big fan of the Nike releases. He had two releases with Nike. That I'm a big fan of. But the Adidas, I'm not really a big fan of. But overall, it's doing amazing. It's been doing amazing for almost a decade now. Like, it's, it's it's going crazy. So, shout out to Kanye West for that, man. Nothing but great news from him this year so far. He's been in a great, great space. So, shout out to him and his energy for that. Nick Cannon is expecting twins with Abby De La Rosa. Let's go ahead and give some round of applause to Black Love and Babies being born. Can somebody in the comments please confirm with me how many babies will this make for Nick Cannon? If we add these two twins, how many babies do Nick Cannon have? Because I'm losing fucking count. I don't know. I swear, like, Nick Cannon expecting a baby is like news every year. That's why I'm so, like, Why was again? that so easy to type up? Or oh, he has three right now. So James. that would be five. Jamie Sherman is in the building. Hey, hey, shout out to Jamie. He, he, has, he, has, he has three. three. That's it. Yeah, he just got three. How many had with Mariah? Was it twins? He has more than three kids. They say six. Six, oh, six, six. six. Oh, well, so he this, had four. Well, Google lied to me. <laughs> Google <laughs> lied to me. Seven. Then. Yeah, he had he had at least yeah, at least four. Oh, the dad, yeah, I'm looking at something saying he's gonna be a dad of six soon. Something say three, something says five. I don't fucking know. Yeah, they said, he got, they said he got four now, and the twins he that he has coming will make six. Oh man. Okay, okay. well, either way, congratulations to Nick Cannon, man. Like so I was losing count, man. Just so many goddamn babies. But uh all of my blessing, man. We love in and it's going to be dope, man. We'll see oh, how yeah, it goes. He would have six kids. So why the shit right here say three? Now, okay, Kid Cudi did a performance on SNL. My man wore a dress. It blew everybody's mind. Say what the fuck is going on with this man? Why he got a dress on? Now, at face value, of course, we're going to look at this and say, uh-oh, here we go with the bullshit. But he has, you know, a story. That's what I want to get to. What's the point? I understand you now. He came out and said, "Yo, I was doing a tribute to Kurt Cobain." Fucking goes, Jim. I went and looked it up. Yes, Kurt Cobain. At some point, I'm not sure about performing in, but he definitely wore a dress with flower fucking print. It would looked at a little similar. It didn't look as feminine, should I say, as Kid Cudi's, but it was a it was a dress nonetheless. But my thing is, is that. Okay, like I'm no, I don't understand the connection. I'm still missing it. I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker wore a dress 40 years ago. What does that have to do with you now? But he says that he, uh, Virgil, Virgil, uh, uh, blah, we talked about him before when he designed that fucking bag with the, the airplane bag that was forty thousand dollars. He designed this dress for Kid Cudi, um, and it has a strap that says off white on it and everything, which is crazy, and. He said that he's going to sell that dress, but he's also working on a line with Virgil and uh, and all this other shit. So I guess it's like a promo thing, and then people to get everybody talking about him to say, "Hey, guess what? I got a clothing line coming up." But whatever, I feel like there's ways to do shit, and if this is his way of doing it, so fucking be it. It doesn't resonate with everybody. It didn't resonate with me. I think he could have done a really, really dope way to do it instead of this. But whatever. That's Kid Cudi. That's his artistry. Let him cook. Now, only got three more left. Uh, <laughs> yo, so Usher has been in the in the strip club, man. And um, you see a celebrity come to the strip club. It's payday. All the girls get excited. They got it. Y'all seen Players Club. The little bell go off in the, in the fucking locker room on back. Nigga, it's a big ball in the house. Get y'all ass out there and get that money. So, of course, Usher goes and 
you know, do his thing, big baller shot, call it, throw all these bills out. Man, they getting it back to go count that shit in. See how much they working with. And this motherfucker has bills with his face on it. <laughs> all the bills have Usher's face on it. Promoing for his new upcoming up and coming project. So now, he did a whole now, promotion in the strip club. Now listen, Strippers. listen, listen. The bills Fucking are hilarious. worth. The nothing. bills are worth absolutely nothing. Okay. He's t- he's, wanna, he talks about a whole rack of flyers. Oh, <laughs> the facts. Facts. Let me let me uh, hold on. Let me share my screen because I, I really want y'all to understand Seems when I true. say that this man, when I say he got his own money, the boy got his own money. My man literally have himself on all of these bills. Okay, hundred dollar bill, twenty dollar bill, single ones, whatever. Now the stripper who posted this is bad as a motherfucker because of course they can't do shit with this money. And it says Usher, the last or the Las Vegas. I can't see the side of it, but you know, it has his name on it. It has everything dealing with him promoting his Las Vegas venture. Um, and it rubbed people the wrong way, man. They were just like, yo, what the fuck is that? I can't do nothing with this. So they thought they made a whole lot of money and they make shit. So this is funny. It's fucked up, but it's funny. I don't know. I don't know who side I'm on, man. I don't they know. Was, and they was probably in there throwing their motherfucking back out. That's what I'm saying. That's the part that I'm upset about because it's like, yo, somebody worked hard for nothing. Especially you know when, he pulled, when he pulled that band and started throwing them blue strips. When they start seeing that blue cheese, they was probably out there throwing their motherfucking back And making out. sure they swept it all up. Sweep all them blue ones up. We need all yeah. of them. And you get in the back of Usher Raymond's pictures on the bill, and it ain't worth shit. That is hilarious and fucked up at the same time. Oh, man. But he came out and was like, yo, man, I'm just promoting my biggest venture, man. Uh, (laughs) Wow. I am. Y'all motherfuckers need to read. (laughs) That's some wild shit. Um. Shit, I might as well keep the screen up for these because these last two I want to show y'all. I'm gonna see if I can get this to work real quick. Um, what's this this one? Oh, yeah. I want y'all to look at this, man. This guy got a helicopter, flew in to propose to his girlfriend and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just something real, real dope. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say it's romantic, but I will say it's fly to the motherfucker, right? Got on a suit, got a couple people there. He do his thing. And when he gets down on his knee to go propose, I don't know if y'all can see it back there. His homeboy is holding a fucking stack of five different rings. Mm-hmm. So he told her, pick which one you want. Get the fuck out of here. And she had a choice of five different rings. And of course, she picked the one that she wanted. And that was that. Now, <sighs> how do y'all... Uh, and it, it's funny because one of my homeboys, matter of fact, Chris said this to me. He was like, man, I ain't got no fucking chance. <laughs> and he says that in the sense of <laughs> in the sense of facts. like, yo, fucking y'all know facts. how this shit go, man. Like, fucking I look at it, I get it. When you're doing something this extravagant, like fucking getting helicopters and hiring people and buying five rings and having her pick one. Keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> they not keeping that shit to themselves. This is this is the for the gram press kit. Like this is uh, cool. this was this was recorded, edited, everything for the gram. You know it was. You know what I'm saying? And it, it raises people's uh it raises their wants and needs, man. So now women feel like, yo, if he ain't coming with this type of energy, I don't want it. No, 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 It's just like, God yeah. damn it, man. It's, now it's going to be, it, it, you know, 20, 2019, 2020 was all the big thing for gender reveals. Now it's going to be the big proposals now. Man. I can see this shit starting to trend. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, man. And I I'm think it's a dope it. idea, but I think... Uh, if I decide to get married, I'm doing it. I'm pulling up on a metro bus, and I'm gonna have <laughs> all kinds of rings from the pawn shop on a motherfucking hand and tell you to pick one of them. Shit, I would, I would have had pictures of all five of the motherfuckers and said pick one before I had them all on a goddamn 
a whole fake, <laughs> a whole little fake hand model joint just sitting there with all five. But God damn. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what was going on in, in, in the world with this, man. Um, and last but not least, I'm actually going to. I'm going to see if I can let y'all hear this one. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen, right? I'm going to pull up my Spotify. Check out our podcast on Spotify, by the way. Hit pause, listen to the Nipsey Hustle, as I've been doing for the past couple of days before I get into my DMX bag. I haven't listened to a single DMX song yet, man. I wasn't ready yet. But tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow's the day. I think I'm going to go oh, through bro. his catalog. I had heard a shitload of DMX at that damn party because of DJ Sheesh. <laughs> I uh, bet you did. Me and him talked about it. Other, um, matter of fact, yeah, we talked about it other days. He said he, he had big DMX in his playlist. Yeah, um, so that means dish. I have to do the sound now and see if I can get y'all to hear this shit. Now, I don't know if I can hit restart on this. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to see in a second. I don't even know if playing the sound is going to work. It may or may not. If it does, cool. If not, then I'll explain it. So I'm going to hit play. I don't hear shit. And I don't think I can hit this button. No one won't allow me to hit this button. It's like a... What is happening? No. So basically, this is what's happening, right? <clears throat> this guy gave his fiance a big stack of money and said, babe, this is for you. Do what you want to do with it. Go shopping. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's for you. Do what you want to do. And he was recording her reaction, right? And she was like, are you serious? He's like, yes, that's you. Go shop. Do whatever you want. Her immediate response was, I'm taking you out on a date. And he was like, what? And she was like, yeah, I'm taking you out. Let's, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. And I thought that was dope, right? So <laughs> this is where it gets tricky. All right. Now, I said, ladies, please take notes, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Now, me saying that, uh, I want you to do a stack of money. That's not what the fuck I was saying at all. Number one. Number two, they were saying, they thought I was saying that, uh, what else they thought I was saying? Um, a bunch of shit was just wrong. They just thought all the wrong things. And I'm like, look, Everything for the Grammy and Shade Room is capped. Or no, I believe it. I'm sure that's stage, whatever. But my thing is this. I love the fact that her her mind state, even if this is stage or not, was immediately to think about him as well. It's like, yo, you got for me? I'm going to look out for you. I thought that was dope. But everybody was like, oh, my God. Like, I, I did that before, and, and I left. I'm single, and I'm broke, because that nigga left me with my money, or took my money and left. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, ma'am. Um... <laughs> I wasn't talking about you do what he did anyway. I was talking about the lady's mindset and how she was thinking about her man in the time of her getting a gift. But, you know, more power to you than somebody else. Oh, hell no. Nah. What, what y'all niggas must not be used to giving bitches money or whatever. Y'all must not been raised like that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need a real man in y'all life, just say that. I said, what does that have to do with anything that I'm saying? I said, this video is nothing but positivity. It's a black man giving his black fiance money for her to go shopping with. And her energy was just as, you know, it was dope as his. And she was thinking about taking him out on a date with the money she got from him. All love, all positive. Where y'all pulling this negative shit from? Why does it have to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, where's it coming from? And it's just crazy, man, to see how people turn this great situation into something negative. And I was like, yo, y'all missing the gym. If you're responding to me right now, you probably missed it. If you didn't just say, you know what? I get what he's trying to say. But it was wild, man. So people's perspectives are crazy. Like, you can see this video and just think that that's something crazy. Like, I thought it was a beautiful thing. But everybody thought that I was trying to say that women need to be more like men. Or Then the girl was like, oh, one girl was like, oh, so what y'all? Y'all want to be taken out on dates? Y'all new niggas soft. Y'all niggas, niggas are so feminine. Da -da -da -da. I was like, what? I was like, no. Really? <laughs> I you Trump. think I yeah. fuck me up on the feminine side because God damn it, you damn right. I want to be taken out on a date. <laughs> and, so, and that yeah, was, that say, was hey, this bro, that type of motherfucker bro gonna be single for a long ass motherfucking time. There's there's nothing wrong with taking a man out on a date, but her thing was is that she felt like I was saying, yo, men, women take notes, take your men out on dates, I guess. Oh, that's how she took it. And I was like, that's not what I was saying at all. I said, but shit, it shouldn't even be nothing wrong with that. Because she considered that soft, feminine, and these new niggas, which is, I guess, everybody who agrees, then, you know, 
A lot of mm -hmm. these women need to go listen to Kevin Samuels, man. I'm telling oh. you, they they need some work, man. Kevin Samuels, yes. he makes you go back to the drawing board. The moment you think you got it all together and figured out of what you want in life, he brings you right back down to reality. They need to <laughs> go quick. listen to him because a lot of these women these days, they have issues and they don't even know that they have issues or they don't even think it's an issue. Right. And just like y'all went to go look up, uh, 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 what is it, DC Playboy? Go look up Kevin <laughs> Samuels on on IG yeah. and look at some of those videos, and and then get back with <laughs> Kevin Samuels. That nigga, something else, man. He don't play no games, man. He's very blunt, very to the point. Um, if you're sensitive, <laughs> yeah, you might want to think twice. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Don't give a fuck. But um, yeah, that's it, man. That's all I got for uh, World Culture Vibes, man. All right. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. I went through all my notes. I went through all the shots. I did everything I had to do nice and early, got out of the way. We can get straight into these ending questions, man. I had some fun on this podcast because we got some funny stuff to talk about. <sighs> let's get the first one up and see what's good. Mm. This shit isn't a joke question. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Somebody pull that shit up quick with y'all motherfucking press asses. <laughs> damn. It wasn't me. I was me. I go it to me. the joint. It had to be one of y'all motherfuckers. God damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm I go to look for it. I go look for it. It's already up. Oh, man. That's funny. Mm. You're getting nasty. <laughs> All right, man. First question. Uh, we did get this um, yesterday, and I said I was going to write it down, even though we know it's a joke and it's pretty funny. But it says, King, if put a scoop pulled up with the anal bees, you faking or not? Nah? And the specific on the anal bees, because we had a conversation about all types of shit like that on the last um, episode of this podcast. So if y'all ain't heard it or seen it, go watch the last one. This is 152, so go watch 151 or go listen to 151. Y'all to get caught up to speed. So now, <laughs> um, this is two king for sure, king man. And putting scoop pulled up with the animal bees, man. You faking or not? One that shit wouldn't even happen. I don't know why y'all playing this. This young. It's a question. Yeah, oh, out this joint. Yes. Hell it's no, no, no. Doing shit. Did. It is. So there will be faking. no faking on what? She ain't using that shit on me. No, she wants you to put the on her. Oh, then I'm damn sure faking. Yeah, you you're right. I'm going to motherfucking fake. I'm because I one I know, one, I for sure know that shit wouldn't happen because she's not that type of motherfucking person. Two, that's not what I'm about. Y'all keep doing all this little hoe shit. I ain't about all that shit. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to call it faking, call it what you want, Joe. No, we're so calling it what the question is. The question and is exactly that, said, I will fake. I enough. will motherfucking okay. fake because I ain't all on right. some motherfucking hoe shit, Joe. <laughs> Uh, why put why anal bees got to be whole shit? It's just adults having because a good time it, sexually. Because this is man, this is like a, just a sexual thing to me. Like nah, I'm on on some other shit. I ain't uh, nah. Okay, uh, there it is. He faking y'all just so y'all so y'all yeah, know. If y'all want to see me that call that faking? Yeah, because I'm on something else. <laughs> all this little mm. at nah, oh, man. fuck all that. That's some funny shit, man. Like, I'd rather okay. do some shit like that with somebody I'm um, with. That's that's some shit I'm on. If they ain't on no, no level like that, then fuck it. So so right. so he answered the question. Next. Yep. <laughs> All right, next one, man. Let's uh let's get this uh next one in the mix. Oh, now oh, y'all yeah, ain't trying to pull up the next I, one real quick. Okay, I got it. I got it. Fuck. Oh, hold on. I don't touch. I don't touch these. I let y'all do that. <laughs> uh, what is your number one goal for summer twenty twenty one? Hmm. My number one goal for summer twenty twenty one is to have our first live show. Um, I know we talk about it a lot, um, but I think. This summer is completely different from the pandemic of last year's summer where we really couldn't move at all. I do feel like there's a lot more leeway this year than it is last year. Um, but I really want to have one, at least one good live show. I think we could do it. If we get a couple months of us doing it like this and promoting and get things rocking, man, and we just put a little small 
little something quick DMV show together, man. I think that'd be dope, man. Summer's three months long. I think we can do it. We probably like two months into the summer anyway. But uh, that's a goal that I want to try to achieve, man. Find a little venue, see if we can sell a couple little tickets, have people come through, man, and just wild out with us. So I think that'd be fun. Mm. Man, my number one goal is to uh, pretty much do what I've been doing so far, as y'all claim. I want to travel some more, so mm. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to run it up, man. I'm just trying to go. And I also, um, y'all know I, I like saving, so I'm into saving money. So I want to save, but I still want to have fun at the same time. So I don't know. It's a whole lot of shit. I got a lot of number one goals that I got to get my shit together. So, yeah, man. All right. I'm with that. King, man, what's your number one goal for summer 2021? See, look, look I got a different personality. So each one of my personalities got something different they want goals for. So I have, like, my number one, fairly, I'm putting out in the universe is money. I'm trying to get uh, money coming in different avenues of money. If it ain't really about that, then I ain't really thinking about it. That's my whole goal is to just have recurring money coming in with it than, than uh, I have. Um, the Usher bills? The Usher Raymond? With my currency? bank. I need, to, I need to get every bank in my house full. Especially with this Usher, one right with here. Usher on the side like this? No, like no, 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 no. My bank no. from, you know, no bacon. <laughs> no bacon banks, you know. All right. I'll add her. So you I need to get my, banks, a, get my banks You got a money full. bag as well. Yeah, my money bag. Get my money bag full as well. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is is to get uh, recurring income coming in. Um, next to that, uh, shit. We got the live eyes fitness challenge. After seeing my fucking Playboy lift a broad up in in midair and fucking give another one backstrokes, I gotta get my strip body going on. Gotta get the strip body. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, on the Strip body has that. to happen. <laughs> And uh, what's another one? I want to, I need to, I said this before, I need to help making a contract. I need to get a team. I need to actually start um, doing more shit. Like I rearranged my basement some. I need to finish rearranging it. I want to start shooting more. My, my, my whole step was to rearrange my basement. I, I'm getting that set. I'm setting that up. I need to get my contract straight. I want to start doing more projects. I want to start shooting more, creating more shit, creating more content, just expanding myself as much as I can and doing more shit. Because I think that will actually coincide with probably me bringing in more money and with me trying to get my body right will be good for camera. Look, I'm just trying to just plan slowly but surely and make these little motherfucking moves I need to move. Make it all come together. Man. Like, I got all this fucking shit. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm stopping shopping, which is an addiction for me. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the body I want so I can look good in all the stupid shit I have. <laughs> right. <laughs> start making skits, start doing shit, start taking pictures. I'm just trying to just move forward. I'm rolling, man. That's good shit. Good shit. Good shit indeed. So like, I hope y'all all got good goals for 2021. Summertime. Man, look, if y'all want to like i'm like let's say give me probably like a good week or two want to start shooting i want to start creating shit let me know i'm still looking for somebody to help me do a contract so i can just get shit organized but i'm really starting to want to do shit and start to work with people because my it, like, like my whole thing is like we're all we all got talent all of us on the podcast all of those who are watching the ones we see watching the ones we don't see watching but i don't think we all live up to our potential and i would like to just work people just create shit because the fuck we got to lose for what Facts. people scared Facts. to do shit for no reason for what just do it yeah and that's the thing like this this podcast is one of those things where it's like yo let's just let's just do this shit and see how it goes and it just turned into something that's incredible we do this shit yeah, twice we, a week and we try to make this shit the easiest for us and this is how we've been doing this shit for so long yeah. had a plan to try to make this the easiest cheapest way and the coolest way for us to do it have a plan, stick to it when we're doing it. And that like we're just, as you can see, we're keep going and we're going to keep going because there's nothing stopping us. And we can this is something that we all can easily work on doing. Yeah. We don't really have any speed bumps that's too hard for us to do. And that's yep. and you can work in your own way of doing other things too. Just do it your way. You don't have to do it the other way other motherfuckers is doing. That's how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do it the way. I can do put my content out there, do what I want to do. Like, D, you make music, 
James, you're very talented and very social. You got your shit. You got music coming on too. You got a live stuff you do. I I need to find my niche and see what the fuck I'm gonna be doing out here. I love it. Um, so much that I'm gonna give you a motherfucker round of applause for that, man. No bullshit. God damn it. Cause that's a lot of productivity you're trying to do, man. You know, we all all for that, man. And, yes, um, Lord. Shit. And you know, we all we all trying to get to it, man, in the best way possible. Find out what's gonna work for us, man, and apply ourselves, man, and you know, for the years to come. So and you know that, one mm-hmm. of my boys, you know, some people be saying, Boy, you funny as fuck. And I always say, I, you know, I can be funny. I don't think I'm stand-up comedian funny, but I think I can act in a something mm-hmm. funny. And it's funny because one of my homeboys came up to me last week and was like, hey, you ever thought about doing some acting? I said, hell yeah, man, sign me up. He was like, man, <laughs> yeah. he, you know, he already had like a whole thing like drink written up. He talking mm-hmm. about they're going to have a little casting call and all that. I said, man, let me know. I'm trying to get in. I right. want to be right. in. I just want I want to get in front of a fucking camera. Yeah. I, I ain't got no, oh, no, oh, I have me. no practice in acting, none of that, but put me on the camera, man. I'm trying to get with it, man. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck, no, this ain't no mad at you now. We're going to put you in front of camera because like shit, like we, uh, this summer coming up, we could just do a whole rack of shit, Joe. And, and, and then y'all going to see, we're going to start doing some shit and, and flat out want to be in front of a camera. We're going to start doing some skits with this motherfucker in front of a camera. <laughs> I'm with it, man. I haven't uh I haven't acted in a long time. Um I've done little stuff here and there. I ain't never acted um, at all. Um <laughs> it's definitely a different bag, man, but it's fun. Uh, especially if the cast is dope, man. So yeah, man. Shout out to everybody who's trying new things, man, trying to get better, man. Like you said, live your best life. Exactly, Lady Bonbon. So I'm with all that, man. Good energy, man. So I can fun. go to no bank and get me another bank. Yeah, man. <laughs> Straight like that, man. Um, all right, let's get this next in the question going. We got damn, we got three more of these motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all was on y'all was smoking last episode. God damn, damn, we do got three more of these motherfuckers. Mm. What is something you didn't think you'd like sexually, but actually do enjoy now? I told you, I told y'all on this podcast, mine was choking. Mm. I'm not, man, choking. I never thought I would like it, but shit, I did it. I don't know. It could have been just the person it was with. Mm. I ain't never experienced that shit, but when I can choke somebody and I come, <laughs> shit, whole another ball game right there. Yeah, man. I was sold <laughs> on that shit, so I, mm. I'm sorry, but yeah, choking. Hmm. Okay. Um, somebody didn't think I like sexually, but I do enjoy now. Um, I don't know if I want to go on that ledge, but I don't know, man. Cause that's not really doing something sexually. So I don't think that's going to count. Hmm. Oh, I would have to say I enjoy my toes being sucked. I didn't. Uh oh. Look, got somebody attention up in here. Not just mine. Where my boy Mikey at? Where Mikey. Mikey at? <laughs> Greg was talking out language, and this motherfucker was. <laughs> oh man. Um. Damn, man. I, I think what I can say is like recording sex to me is something that I didn't think that I would like. Um, I think the the curiosity behind it was like always something like, you know, you do it once, you know, whatever, just to do it. But I think when you actually get some good footage that one good time, when you look at that shit and be like, I could, I could, and we, we, we could do this more often. You know what I'm saying? And that's when the tripods come out. That's when the real cameras come out. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't think that I would like that at all. But, um, you know, just having some type of wild experience in that in that realm and going back and watching it, man, pointing out certain shit like that shit is fire. 
Don't know what happened to King, but I'm sure he'll be back. Um, <laughs> that shit is fire, man. Like laying in the bed next to the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And y'all holding like the phone and y'all are watching yourselves and pointing. Like it's just a different energy, bro. It's a different energy, man. So if you got somebody who enjoys it, that's really, really dope. And that was something that I didn't think that I would be into. But you get the right partner, man. No, that shit, that shit is lit. It's lit. King, what is something you didn't like, but you now like sexually? Like something you didn't think you would enjoy? Honestly, uh, to tell you the truth, like I honestly don't know. I I have uh, a few things that I think I might like, but I have not tried yet. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I can only answer in that aspect. I mean, choking is cool, but I mean, I've done it. It's cool. Like, I, I, it's, it's cool. It ain't like I'm going to fucking come off choking, but it's cool. Um, I think, I, I think I came because of the reaction she It's got the reaction from. she get. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, that shit it's turned me on. I was just like, oh shit. You, you know, know what happens? <laughs> you, lose, you lose your train of thought because when you fucking, you in the groove, you're trying to make sure that you please her, but keep yourself at a good, you know, distance so you can continue to last because it's a stamina game you end up playing. But, you know, when you end up, like if somebody who's in the choking and you end up choking the motherfucker, you see the reaction she get? Mm. That shit, it takes it takes your mind away from your dick. And you start focusing on her where she's feeling like, oh my gosh, she really insists. And then she start moaning different and if she could barely moan, like it's different. And then you 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 didn't you fucked up because your mind got off your dick and now you come in and you like oh shit I oh oh yeah <laughs> god damn it <laughs> you didn't choke both of y'all nigga like that's how it ended up being <laughs> I'm kind I'm kind of like uh I I guess another thing I'm I'm like um Taisha like she said she didn't know think getting her box hey, I didn't think eating. Eating the box. I ain't think I was gonna like that. Man, Shit. love it, love Man. it. I, I ain't gonna Ma'am? hold you. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I was one of those guys. Man, I was one of those guys when you were younger. You thought eating pussy was nasty, and was like, I know it got to be my wife. If it ain't my wife, I'm never gonna do it. I had that small complex. I told y'all on this podcast a long time ago how my uncle hit me with the whole. Hey, if I'm fucking the same girl you fucking, and I'm eating the pussy and you not, guess what she gonna call? And I was just like, yeah, you're absolutely right, huh? And it goes like people <laughs> saying, what, what what you won't do, somebody else will. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I, I was not gonna get left in the dust, nigga. So mm-hmm. I said, fuck that. I gotta learn how to eat this box. And yeah, I, I'm all for it now. So I'm, I'm with you on that one. Watching yourself in the mirror. Whoa, I like choking, light biting. Mm. I like biting too. Just don't bite me too motherfucking hard because now you throwing shit off. I like biting. For me. I, yeah, but don't, don't fucking. I don't like you. I, I my lip you bit off. I like, like nah. nibbling. Let me say that. I like nibbling, not biting. Hey, I like to feel some teeth, but you ain't got a ha <laughs> ha All right, little Rockwilder. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's for me. Some people like that shit to where you leaving bruises and marks. Like I ain't that deep with that, but I like a bite. You know what I'm saying? Here and there, but you gotta, yeah. Don't, 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 don't break skin, motherfucker. Mm. God. But um, yeah, man, take a chunk out of your ass. Exactly, man. You gotta calm the fuck down. <laughs> Sheesh. But um, Oof. yeah, man. Let's go ahead and get to this next in the topic, man. We got to think two more or one more. Hold on. Where we at? Oh, we got damn, we, Oh, we got two more. Fuck. I, I know Lindy asked this one. I remember that one. Go back. Got to go back. That's the last one. There it is. And I feel like we all have different answers this in a sense. Maybe it is, it's different for everybody. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> what what does the best pussy ever feel like? I've already, I think I've already explained that on this podcast. It feels like a a warm, wet, p- 
killer <laughs> on all sides, like just suffocating this motherfucker like through the pillow. Like mm. it's just regard I, I don't it. care. I don't the care end. what angle you hit it at, it just form right around that motherfucker. Yeah. Like oh if this God. microphone was it, like that motherfucker just yeah. But it's not it's not like a virgin grip. It's not like a no. too tight grip. No, 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 no. It's no. a nice plush oh my God. fucking memory foam pussy. Okay. <laughs> it's just it's no other way to put it. Um, I feel like it has to be the certain amount because it has to be wet, but it can't be too wet. Yeah. It oh, can't be man. too wet. Hey, we got the we got the same <laughs> idea. I think we didn't both had that one before. <laughs> yeah. kind of yes, thing. yes, yes. I'm trying to tell you, it's just something about it. And it, as far as we understand, women and um and hygiene and fucking taking care of yourself and smells and all this other shit. All right, we get it. So. We do understand, like pussy definitely has a smell. There's a it's, but it's, it's like, it's like the icing on top of the cake, though. It can't be, it can't be the cake. You know how like a cake is like a solid cake, and then you put the icing on top of the cake. <laughs> that part is cool, right? But then you got some cake that are layered with fucking icing in between the layers of the cake. That's when it's a little too much, ladies. If I'm, I'm giving y'all a little analogy, I hope y'all can put this together like puzzle pieces, okay? We understand. So as long as that thing look good, smell good, feel good, wet, but not too wet, and you get into like, but this is a, a let, let me, let's give, let's give the women a little bit of props here too, because even though the pussy can be perfect, you can be fucking somebody and the experience don't give you exactly what you need. So if you have a woman who can just either rise you the right way, or even if you hit from the back missionary, whatever, if y'all can get into a groove, it's over. It's over. It's, it's nothing worse than having some pussy that's, that's actually good, but she doesn't know what to do. Like her body, she's awkward. She don't know how to fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Or her, her back is when you're trying to hit it from the back. It's like... Your arch God, is damn. stupid. You got to every hey. two pumps. You got to rearrange your back. Your back. And yeah. So it's like, damn, the pussy good. It's just, she's just so fucking. Ah, come on, man. You know, so. Yeah. that Yeah, man. That's to me. Flatline agrees. That's pretty much nutshell of what good pussy is. Now, I know King got some type of different philosophy or what makes the best pussy for him, I'm sure. So let's hear my man out and see what he comes up with. What is the best pussy ever feel like to you, Ken? Shit, I don't know. I, I lost my focus is listening to y'all two asses talk. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all just go the same like y'all. Be fucking the, like y'all had the same pussy at the same time. I'm sitting there like, wow, okay. I'm, I start apologizing <laughs> as soon as I went in that motherfucker. Cause I knew, <laughs> I knew, I wasn't. I ain't coming out this motherfucker alive. So I'm gonna tell you now, my bad. Cause this is about to be mad quick. Yeah, mm. shit, y'all. Look, y'all. Ooh, look. I'm, mm. Yeah, I'm just speechless. So like, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm can't, pretty can't, sure can't, King can't, agrees. Can't can't beat that. Uh, um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, yo, y'all, y'all, I don't, I don't, get, whew, okay. Man, yeah, man, that's, that's so, where it is, yeah. though. But I feel like, and this is the thing, let's be clear about this. This isn't something that I feel like every woman can't possess. I think you can. I think if you take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying, your hygiene is good, your, your fucking, you know, everything, you, you keep yourself up, it's... If you call this knowledge, this is not knowledge at all. <laughs> this is us giving our personal experience of what we think is the best person for us. Yes. 
Of course, we're not fucking gynecologists. We did we did not make the pussy. None of that shit. But well, they need a fucking hug. <laughs> <laughs> right. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, like like I like I was trying to say, this this doesn't mean that every woman can't possess this type of pussy, so to speak. Like I said, I feel like if you take care of yourself, your hygiene is good, you know what I'm saying? You either keep a nice shave, clean, whatever it is. It can, because I think we've all fucked somebody, right? And it was okay. We say we fucked that same person and that shit was bomb and shit. Like sometimes your experience with a person or the box can change. Depends on certain shit. So it's not to say that there's a certain pussy and only certain people have it. No, it's just how... How things and how into it she is as well. Is she into you as much as you into her? Is she wet enough? Is she, you know, is the pussy throbbing? Like it's a lot of things that go into play to make this thing work, man. So all women can have the best pussy in the world, man. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> she said, Well, hug her, damn it. <laughs> I might have to, Joe. I might really might have to, Joe. So, yeah, I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna hug you next time I see you anyway. I know who it is. I went to school with her. Oh yeah. Well give her I'm a hug you when I see you next time. Hug. Get her ass some ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, man. Mm. That's what the best pussy feel like to us. Shit. Feels great. But uh all right, next one. I think we got all right, one more. We got one more in the question. Goodness gracious. See if we can get that on the screen real quick. So yeah, come over to YouTube too, where all the comments at, man. So you can see what's going on in the comment section. You can't see that on Facebook, but come on over, man. Have you ever used a pocket pussy or or any other sex toy? Tell us your experience. Yes, uh, I have. And it's not the same. Was it an actual pocket pussy or was it an actual sex toy? It was, it, it was a, it was a canal. It was like, hmm. Let me, let me, a, let can, me, let me, a canal let me, pussy. Google's was, my friend. <laughs> yeah, pull that up because I don't understand what the fucking canal means. It was, it was a, uh, it was a, a joint. I guess you could call it a real, it was like silicone though. So the whole joint was just like salt. So you had a silicone pocket pussy? Pretty much. Oh, okay. So it's it like in the pocket pussy realm. Gosh. And um, I don't know. I think it I think it was because you I had to lube the drink myself, and it was just like, nah, it's, it ain't right. It ain't right. Like I can't do this every time. Like it's yeah, just too much it, of it, a, yeah. it, and it was the fact that I mean Doing the motion, I should you still have to do it yourself. Yeah, it's like I'm not yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying because like I said, when it comes I saw, to the, I saw somebody else like have a joint propped up and was like just hitting the joint, like yeah, it don't it ain't right. See, and that's the thing, like when it comes to the pocket pussy and shit like that for men. It's still a lot of work that has to be done by the guy, and it's it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? You still got to, even though you may got this little pocket pussy, pretty much it's a little pussy. You might have little butt cheeks. It could have whatever it is on a little mouth, whatever. <laughs> but you still got to fucking, you know what I'm saying? It's still work. It's still like, man, I was doing this before I bought this motherfucker. So it's, it's <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's, it's difficult, man. Um, That's why you don't hear or see a lot of men talk about sex toys or really be into them because- it's just, it's not the same with y'all. Women, y'all sex toys is on a whole nother fucking galaxy versus the shit that we got to do. It's either that or you get one of them fucking life-size butts that's this big that you just plop on a fucking table and try to fuck it. Then you feel like a fucking weirdo. Yeah, because you, you, you actually fucking the table. You fucking the table. <laughs> Your table got a fat ass. That's what's happening. And now you have to, if you, if you want to get past that and go to the next, next, next level, you gotta buy a whole motherfucking human doll that you still gotta fucking move around and prop the motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's too much work, man. It's too much work for guys to have sexual toys and things like that. It's just they ridiculous. Got, they got women. 
They, they got, got machines and all types of shit. Shit vibrates. They got a shit machine that do the shit for them. Oh, they them. can just yeah. lay there like. Oh, <laughs> man, I, shit got I speeds, you. gears, fucking man. They got joints that got it go go in, but on the inside you got shit spinning this spinning way, around. spinning this way. And the shit it's in the it. pussy and in hey. on the clit at the same time, vibrating hey. the butthole. Like it's just y'all got. Everything when it comes to sex toys, man. Our shit is just trash, bro. We look like fucking creeps, man. Even if you say, you know what, fucking, I'm gonna go buy one. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of this fucking, you know, man hands and shit, man. I'm gonna go get me a little, little pocket, little pocket pussy. You know what I mean? You gonna come home and feel weird as a motherfucker with that little weird rubber, like, and it's all like silicone. So it's all like <laughs> the, the cleanup is always the same. You feel stupid after you bust. <laughs> You just like, oh man, I gotta clean this shit up, man. Yo, that's one of the stupidest shits ever, dog. The cleanup after the fact. It's like the you know, you know, the walk of shame. You know, after you you fuck somebody, do some shit you ain't supposed to be doing, you know, the walk back home or the walk back to your car or whatever. It's the same thing. It's just an yeah. instant regret. Now I know women are a little different than men. Like with men, the way our fucking bodies and hormones and shit work, the minute that like the minute we get that nut dog, that shit, it goes from zero, I mean, from 100 to zero. And when I mean zero, that shit smacks the ground. It don't just go, oh, 99, 98, 90. So that motherfucker, zzz, boom, and it's over. And then the reality set in, you look around, you like, what the fuck is, you You feel stupid as shit. And then don't <laughs> let it be a big load. You think that oh, you, it's, you are it's white not everywhere. <laughs> Yo, it's depressing. You're like, dog, I'm never doing this shit again. And you, you say that shit in your mind. You say that shit in your head. You're like, I ain't never doing this stupid shit again. You sit there and shit all in your face. You're like, man, oh. what was I thinking? Then, oh, and see, and then, and that's the thing. Look, so then you get into another situation where you horny as a motherfucker. And you're going to remember that time. How stupid your ass look <laughs> cleaning up all this fucking nut from last time. And then that's when you, you start sending the fucking text messages the hey, big head, to the wrong motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? What you up to? What you doing? To motherfuckers you know you shouldn't be fucking with. Because you don't want to go through this stupid shit. Of, yo, it's crazy, man. So, man, you got to have, you got to have, you got to have a certain masturbating etiquette to where you don't fucking destroy your, your own pride and ego in the process. My shit mad simple now. I got a I got my phone for the fucking whatever I'm watching. I got my little cleanup towel, in and out, laundry basket right there. Boom, I'm good. It ain't no weird fucked up <laughs> shit. I can get some rest. I can go on by my day. Oh, yeah, mister, I don't beat my dick down here. I'm sorry. He's, yeah, he, he this is heathen talk for him. Mm. But I got a, I got a system now. So... I don't be feeling all weird and like depressed and like this shit is stupid. I ain't never fuck it. Nah, I'm 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 all right now. But it's it's pretty bad, man. Yeah. So get, don't get tired. Don't get tired. You nah, know when you no nah, fuck that. No no no. <laughs> when you. <laughs> It's two ways to fuck this up. No, go ahead. You, you tell the first one. I'm going to tell the second one. You, oh, no. you tell the first one. No, I'm thinking when, when you try to prolong the joke, right? So when you try to prolong it, when you know, you, let's just say you watch it on your phone and you watch the whole scene. Mm -hmm. And you knew you were supposed to nut it right then, but you try to That's watch your favorite whole, part of the scene. Yeah. And you try to watch a whole nother scene with it. Man, by the time you at you know, by the time you ready to go, at <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> that shit is a whole nother. Yeah, man. <laughs> you got to nah. be careful. No, nah, you know which one I hate? I hate I hate when you do it and you get the nut, but it ain't the good nut. So you still hard and shit. <laughs> it's just like what was the what the fuck was that for? Like I got my shit off and I'm still I'm still like this. I'm like, I can't go to sleep like this. Like this shit is dumb, yo. Then you try to lay on your side because you can't. <laughs> yo, you got I'm sick of this. 
You Yo. gotta finish, cause if you don't, your shit will be stuck to your drawers in the morning, and you. Be- I'm gonna. T- <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now. We, I need women on this podcast who give us some fucking stories. We tell y'all some wild shit on this goddamn show about all our fucking stories. We need y'all to explain some shit about what y'all go through as women in this area, man. Because we be going through it, man. This shit ain't easy. Y'all wonder why niggas be out here trying to fuck every goddamn thing. <laughs> this, this, this is part of the reason right here. Shit is rough. It's fucking rough, man. So... <sighs> Man, um, King, we're back to you. <laughs> have, you really? have, have you ever used a pocket pussy or any other sex toy and tell us your experience? Have it. You ain't never pulled a, a little dildo out on the bitch or nothing and shove it up in there? And you ain't do nothing on a feet. Oh, I thought you saw my any myself. other sex toy. Oh man, I got wands and shit. Yeah, dude, those mm. are awesome. Wand. Let me write that down. He said wand. You get a wand? Yeah, mm. a nice little wand, like like a little little wand that got the, like the vibrator at the end. Well, like mm. when you hit in it, you can have the wand on the clip. That is ah. awesome. We'll get we'll get like the one that like the the vibrator on your fingertips. So when you still hitting it, either from the uh front or from the back, you can hit that click while you are hitting it. Wonderful toy. Or the, what's the other one where you got the vibrator joint? I used to have that a long time ago. But the, the stupid thing about that joint is the battery. I couldn't I couldn't change the battery on that bitch. I think it was like one of them old type joints. Like the joint you can put on your tongue to make the shit vibrate. Fuck somebody up with that. <laughs> Fuck their whole life up with that one. Um, What's another good one? My, my favorite ones are wands, though. I thought the nigga you, was about to go in on something else. He you going are on. a, a yes. fucking heathen. This whole time. <laughs> this whole <laughs> time. Man, you got to get the joke that you go on your finger. Oh, get the joke to go on your tongue. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. That is the most heathen shit I've ever heard. What? That, what, what? The one on the tongue joint, is, is that show was, I wish I would have found that other one. I, I, I was... Is the, the I couldn't change the I couldn't change the battery on that joint. Like once that joint was was dead, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. cause like I, I that girl was like what five eleven. I was the fuck her ass up with that. Show. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you yeah, when you start playing yeah. in the bitch demise, that, like, that, that joke made him sit up. He said, "I I, I used to fuck." <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. That joint, man, had it on your tongue, eating her out with that joint that's like vibrate. Man, killed her little mother. Yo, yo. Oh, I, say, I like wands, though. Wands are pretty cool because, like, you can, especially the joint where you can, like, like say, like, like how can I explain it? I thought he was like, about uh, to pull it, one out. I thought he was about to say, like, like, like this one right here. Like, like, this I, right need, I need to go to the store, but I like has the controller at the end. It has, like, something like they could. You could bend it to how you want. It's like an egg at the end, or it's like a vibrator at the end. Dog, I mean, if you can like, but that's only good, like saying like if they laying down and you hitting it, you could get that joint to sit there right there on that clip while you hitting it. That's good. Other than that, say like if you hitting it from the back, you could try to use the wand, but it's gonna be kind of hard. So that joint, you might want to get the little uh, the the vibrator that things hit, hit on your finger. So when you hitting it from the back right there on the clip. Mm, and hitting it, yeah. awesome. I Fucking awesome. Oh, right there, right there. Right? Uh, he hit it with the wreath. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, so wait. I mean, wait. Like, um, people be faking on toys, yo. Like, yeah, I've, I've used all that shit. No, nah, what, what oh, it do? A bullet's pretty cool too. It depends on the bullet you have. What it do, like, like, man? Uh, what? What it do What's with the hand? When the, the dome with your finger, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Is that it right there? Is that it? That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a, that's I, I a don't good think I have one. that one. I, I don't think I have that one. But that looked like a good one. Someone, something that's not going to go anywhere. You can sit there, and just hit there right on the. Say you hit it from the back, you get up under that joint, right Ooh. there. Especially if you know where your girl clit at, sitting there like. Hitting that clip while you hitting it from the back, man. Yeah, you be good. <laughs> wow. Um, 
I gotta stop sharing my screen because looking up this type of shit, you know, all the other images be fucked up. Now <laughs> can't have that shit on this podcast. But with yeah. that, with that, with that finger joint, shit, yeah, with any almost any position, especially like say if you got like you laying down her leg under you, like you doing it from the side, that leg up, just my fucking tap that little and hit. That, yeah, you, you go to town with that little. Thing. Matter of fact, similarly, I might want to order that little finger joint. <laughs> Yo. Nah, I'm Xing this shit out because what I see now is on a whole nother plateau. I am. Oh. I gotta I gotta sanitize my motherfucking hands after searching for that shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all ain't see what the fuck I just saw. That hell, man. <laughs> shit. I mean, it's just it's another nice little toys out there. I need to oh yeah, fuck. But man. Yo, we <laughs> we need to get that finger joint, dog. Get the, get the finger joint. Right. Get the fingers right, yeah. I'm rolling. I'm rolling with that. I'm rolling. Um, shit. Oh, we have shit. Oh, oh, fucking oh. like, get a nice little, uh, nice little little ditto with the hook. So when you eating her out, you the, the, the get the G spot finder. So when you eating her out, like you gotta know how that joint up the G spot finder. So you eating her out, hitting that clip with your tongue, you hitting that G spot out. Mm. Man, listen. So I can tell you to went to bed hungry a lot of nights because it sounds like after you've done it, she go right to sleep. No, no, not really. Or the, or the heaven because it, it sounds like those are the only two places you can go after that. <laughs> God yeah. damn. Hit her with the mother. Okay. Well, most, time, most times, man, you probably got to, uh, it depends on the female. Because so sometimes, it, it will, you got to know your girl because if you know your girl like can only come a few times and then she's done, then make sure like say she like she a some females like a or say like she's a three tapper and she out. So let her get that two and get her get that last one with her with your dick. Uh mm. some just they just keep coming and coming. So just give it to, when she's look like she's done and tired, like, okay, I need a break. Give her ass like a good five minute break, then fuck her up. Mm. Um yeah, but you, most of the time you can probably get, like I've only probably had no nah, with the toys. I ain't never had nobody who really stopped me. I just the other one is just me with the with the cocaine dick, and she just kept stopping my ass and made me sit there looking like, why am I here? <laughs> but toys like nah, like, you, you could probably still get yours because like at the end of the day, like they they shit is going to be leaking, so you going to be good. You just need to hopefully you still in the right mind of being turned on to getting that shit. So you might have to look at her, but like, look, I did all this shit for you. Um, you need to put some motherfucker work in. Mm. <laughs> Listen, because man, sometimes like when you doing all that, because to me, like, it's good to please your woman and get her out the way, especially if this is your girl, get her out the way. Then you gotta be like, look. Sometimes I mean, me, I just do it. It it doesn't like I'm sitting there with a rock hard the whole time. No, like now it's like. A <laughs> man butt naked with or, the gummy or, worm, or, just fucking or, her up. <laughs> or, or I'm gonna have to start doing stuff that turns me on, and then just try to slide this gummy worm in there and get him up, and then fucking get my shit. So listen, man, y'all know the episodes of motherfucking Scooby Doo at the end of the goddamn episode when they fucking capture the motherfucker and they pull the fucking mask off. Mm -hmm. That was King just now, a whole mm -hmm. fucking heathen. Under this fucking mask, and he's like, Look, "I would have got away with it too if it wasn't, it wasn't for you two guys." <laughs> Look, bro, you you at y'all asked me the right question, and y'all let me Yo. actually answer. I actually got to answer a question fully hey, without y'all fucking hey, stopping man. me. Yeah, man. But this one, he was like, "No, I ain't." When you say no, you ain't got shit. Then, well, no. you changed. You asked the right question, like, because when I looked at the question, it's like. I'm thinking like, cause the way y'all answer sex toys, I used on myself. I don't have shit I'm going to use on myself. Most of us don't. Yeah, I, I don't have. I, I've never had a pocket pussy, you know, none of that shit. If I have anything, it's going to be used on wherever I'm with. So yeah, but I, that's God, how I look at the question. Damn. I ain't no sex toy. Oh, pocket pussy? No. Man, oh man. Um, I mean, I'm not a heathen. I just like I, I believe in like some, some somebody you with and you you enjoy or somebody like you're like let like, I me mean, just keep it with somebody you're with it's good to spice it up have fun and make sure they're good so mm -hmm. why not you are 
You are the man in Y'all fucking... Y'all calling me either, but see, I would rather do this with one person, not just... No, we you know, get that part. We get that like part. These anal beads in your ass. Nah, Joe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm just... It's just... It, it reminded me of you Saul. Can't do you this, know what You can't do... Say the thing. You can't do this with everybody. So, like, once you, like, know that that's going to be your shorty, then you can really turn that motherfucker out. Man. I get it. I'm I'm rolling. I'm rolling with that. I have nothing against that type of energy. Um, but I, I also uh, <sighs> uh kind of give a fuck about my sexual rep- rep- <laughs> representation. So I'm not um uh, if I was like you, King, if I had a treasure chest or if I had shit like that as a, like an option, I'm sorry, I would use that shit a lot. That's just me. I just want the experience. But you, but you, but I, I see. No, 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 D. Like, now, I'm gonna honestly tell you this: if you use that shit a lot, my nigga, you would like. All right, you. How tall are you again? About six three and a half, six four. Six three, six four. Handsome young man. You use toys. You got the glow of everybody loves your personality, my nigga. You would have stalkers galore. Ah, all right. Let's 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 <laughs> not do that. Though. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Want, you don't want don't that. Stalk me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can't have that. She's like, what? You going to pull out all these toys on me? You six, three, six, four. You got the little goatee going on dreads. And you think I'm not going to stalk your ass when you That's a Yeah, that's cool? a bag. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not willing to. Exactly. Not willing to you, don't, you don't pull it. Like how uh, Flatline is say, you don't give everybody 100%. What the fuck you look like? 70%. Yeah. 70%, man. Understand and that's it, the 70% man. of regular dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. You go beyond seventy uh, percent. That's when you open up the box, and then you gonna have somebody stalking you. Then you be like, "Why are you doing all this crazy shit, nigga? You didn't fucking pull out some. You done some shit that ain't nobody else do. And you a fucking tree. Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> they gonna be like, "You better put your seed in me, and I can have these NBA babies." No, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool on that, man. I yeah, got all the babies right. I need. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, do that shit and watch your ass have stalkers. Have fun with yeah, that. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm cool. That's I. I, don't, I look. I haven't started my treasure chest yet, so no, nah, I'm I'm good to go, man. And I will tell you, only use it on the person that you're yeah, yeah. really with. I got you, man. Well, shit, that was a really good uh, end of question slash educational uh, situation we just had there, man. I saw the student become the teacher, all that good shit. Uh, I felt like King was laid on the floor with the fucking shackle on his foot the whole movie and everybody thought he was dead, like Saw, and then a nigga cut his foot off and the nigga just woke up and unhooked the shit himself and was like, hi, right, stupid bitch. I was alive the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> just walked out. <laughs> That's what it was, man. That was, a, that was a crazy experience, man. I took notes and everything, so good shit, man. And like, y'all changed the question around so something I can actually answer. Yeah, because you know what? When we got this question, it didn't have any other sex toys in it. I had to write that shit in there. Because I, mean, I know none uh-huh. of us have pocket pussies. See what I'm saying? So it's like, no, no, no. Our well, next James question. has used one. Yeah, he has. But we <laughs> talked about how depressing that is. <laughs> so it's like, I get it. You know? I can never do that shit. But look, man, we're hour and 30 in. We still have four topics left. I don't think we're going to get to all four of these. Mm. We ain't gonna end up doing four of these motherfuckers. We're gonna save for Friday. So y'all wanna do one, two? What y'all wanna do? Let's see with how the first one go. All right, let's check this first one out real quick, man. Goodness gracious. Whew. What are some things that men do to protect their heart in a new relationship when they've been really hurt in the last one? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. <sighs> I think um, mm. I guess we could just throw some things out there. I think some ways that men protect their heart, man. Um, some men turn into hoes. Let's throw that out there real quick. Some people get hurt so bad they say fuck these bitches and want to fuck all the bitches because they don't want to get connected to just one no more because they've been hurt before. Or uh, some people are sp- what? Whatever ruined or ended that last relationship, they have zero tolerance for in this mm. new one or anybody else they meet. Mm-hmm. That is definitely one of them. Um, they um, definitely. I'm, I agree with GGB thirty three. They act like they don't really care. 
I mean, yeah. they they get really nonchalant. Um, they don't they don't allow themselves to be available as they actually are. Yeah, they build up a wall just like a lot of these women do too. The mm-hmm. men do build up a wall, and they will not bring that motherfucker down, break it down, lower it down, or nothing. You even gonna try to get over what you can over the wall that I got up. They'll date you through that fucking wall. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a whole rack of little fucked up shit. Why? All right, so I'm gonna give a, a positive one. Why? Why can't? All right, to protect themselves. Why? They could uh, also just learn what they might have done wrong and and just try to because me, I believe that you learn from each relationship. You either learn something about yourself or you learn something about people. And that's another right. way to protect your heart. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. The more you know about people, the more you can see patterns, good patterns, bad patterns, to stay away mm-hmm. from those dumb shit. Become more blunt, become more transparent. Cause th- really, if you but you tell a motherfucker. All your your faults and all your good things about yourself. See how quick that motherfucker fold because they really about the bullshit. You could see like a lot how motherfuckers. I had this conversation actually earlier today. You could tell a lot. You know how people like always want the truth and all that other good shit. Tell mm-hmm. the motherfucker truth up front. See how quick they run. A lot of motherfuckers just want to really play this motherfucking game. Everybody That's love the game. I don't give a fuck. Some even some people are like, oh yeah, tell me the truth. They still want the game because it's so easy, and that's what they used to. Be as truthful as you can be. If you yeah. want to protect your heart, you could be real, keep it fucking hundred percent real. And I bet you they asses run. The motherfuckers who about bullshit. That's for men and females. hmm Very true. But we all we all say that we want honesty and stuff like that. But you know, that reminds me of uh at all. But you know what's crazy? Um, speaking of this whole, uh, you know, everything that's going on with this DMX thing, this one thing that um, in this one of his last uh, interviews that he had, that always stick with me, man. Um, and that's just kind of like, yo, know, know who people are and respect them for what for who they are. And like he said, like, yo, like, don't be mad at a motherfucker for being who they are. Like, expect a snake to bite you. Ex- expect a thief to steal from you. Like, that's what they do. Don't get mad because they are who they are. Just know who they are when you see them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things too. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's uh, that's very, very true. When you say, look, I'm going to tell you straight like this. I like this. I don't like this. Sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't do that. He put his they headphones. Have- he put his headphones by the thing. Yeah, I can hear it fucking doing this weird shit. Let me uh, mute him real quick. But um. <clears throat> Yeah, like you you have to respect who people are when they tell you who they are. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if we did that a lot, we would avoid a lot of bullshit. I would love for women to just be like, you know what? I don't like this. When this type of shit happened, I get crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm this and that. Like you know what you're getting into before you, you know, try to work your way into a situation and then you get ran into some shit that she was like, yo, now you acting this way and I don't fuck with that. And that happens to a lot of people in relationships. You know what I'm saying? Even with men. Yo, I'm very, I'm very aggressive. I'm very uh, territorial. I don't like my women to be, you know, saying having male friends. Uh, you know, I, I've had a bad experience with that before. So I'm real iffy about letting my woman do certain things. She can have the choice to stay and leave. It's up to her. You know what I'm saying? If you just upfront about it, mm-hmm. King, I muted you because you was too close to the thing was making noise. So you got unmute yourself. Are oh, you good? But um, yeah. So just. Kind of knowing who people are and putting that shit out up front, man. That should have helped out a lot in relationships. And I'll say that with with knowing who people are, say you knowing the patterns of people you you dated and they certain patterns that someone else is doing. If you want to protect your heart, seriously, have all right, have well, this is almost keep it uh transparent, have adult conversations. Literally, mm-hmm. listen to the person. And try to understand where they're coming from and try to get them to understand where you're coming from. So if you see patterns, the one thing you let a person know, this is what I love doing. Let them know that, look, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose or if this is me being um, paranoid. But you are displaying patterns which are giving me seeds of doubt or suspiciousness. But Mm -hmm. one thing you don't do is tell them exactly what those patterns are. You just right. let them know that you see shit. Don't give them the, the key and the 
the, the, the cheat the, code. The, yeah, the cheat code too. The just code. let them yeah. know, like, look, I'm seeing something that's not really uh working with me. It's it's making me feel a certain type of way. It's either like I've done this to two people, had a adult conversation, write down everything they say, have have my trying to so I can go back to have the rebuttals to them. Let them know, like, look, I'm just seeing certain patterns. You know, I'm trying to work with you because, you know, uh, I care about you and your feelings. So I'm just trying to make this shit work. Trying to be real respectful, trying to be a real adult about it. Bro, they came into the joint like, I ain't going nowhere. It's going to be me and you. After that, when they couldn't really figure out what the fuck they were doing, to just try to, because to me, if you tell them what they're doing, only thing they want to do is, Fix it. change what they're doing and to still mm-hmm. be doing all some little fuck they couldn't figure out what the fuck exactly what they're doing they couldn't get it out and at the end of the conversation it was like okay i just i i guess i just gotta just i, I don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i want i'm sitting here like it's funny because you came in it's like you're not going anywhere mm-hmm. I wanted, we're going to work through this and at the end of it i i just don't know i i just i'm so confused i just need to get work on myself yeah, cause you 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 fucked up, Joe. <laughs> yeah. And that's just You're me being an adult, to listening to him, writing down yeah. everything, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to work with him. But I'm not going to tell you the motherfucking cheat code. I'm just going to let you know <clears throat> you fucking up when I see it. So, and I mean, when you get cer- when you get certain things like that, don't you? You also got to keep in mind yourself. Because if everybody's showing you these same patterns, now you got to start looking at the common denominator, which is you. Now mm-hmm. you got to figure out what are you doing that's making everybody give this same pattern. Well, half the time, you know, that's a good thing. You know what? That's another thing uh, that's actually good for protecting your heart and uh, and uh, not getting hurt. Sometimes don't talk about your flaws or the bad things that happen in your past relationships because you might be bringing that energy into this new one. Because mm-hmm. I know, like some of us, have we ever heard heard stories like some people, females or or men, say how this so so happened? They explain it to the person they with, and it end up still happening. You just brought that that past energy into your new shit, or like uh, I I want to say for females, I don't know if this is a touch, touchy subject. But when someone says like they was abused in their past relationships and they express it to somebody they with and somehow it happens in this relationship, and that person mm-hmm. could not would have been able to if some people see if it can happen, I can do this because you dealt with so much in that from that other dude that I'm going to do it, but not much, maybe as much as him or do it. Sometimes you just bring that energy right along with uh mm-hmm. How they say it, like whatever you don't want in your life, don't give it that in- motherfucking energy at all. Just don't do right. it. And so, so to protect yourself, protect your heart, whatever you really don't want, just don't even bring that motherfucking shit up. Just talk about the shit that you really, really want. Because sometimes, sometimes right. you bring that shit up, you just bringing it in, and somebody could just basically, especially if you run into the wrong person, they can see what they can do and what to they can it. get away How with. How they can yeah. use it against you. Right. Yeah, very true, man. All that shit is true. Um, I do feel like um, people need to look in the mirror more. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, just owning your faults, man. Knowing when you're wrong in certain areas because we all not perfect. We all know that we got some shit with us because everybody got some shit with them. You know what I'm saying? But understanding what 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 it is that make you make you tick and, and make you you know how you operate, man. That shit is really really important. Um, just in case it comes up in your next situation, you know how to fix the situation before you repeat that shit. Because if you don't do no type of self, you know, clarification, you ain't going to do nothing but go out here and repeat the same steps. And those same steps might have been the reason why that person did something that hurts you in a relationship. You may be the corporate and don't even know that shit. So, you know, it's a whole lot to that type of shit, man. But yeah, a lot of good ways that men... Uh, can definitely uh protect themselves um i also think men take things ultra slow like we all know what taking things slow means but if a man get his heart broke that next one is going to be stupid slow (laughs) and it's just you know it's just you're just not ready man you're just not ready uh at all um 
Some people say how to get over an ex is to get under the, how to get over someone is to get under someone else. And that doesn't always help. That makes things worse sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes we just take it extra motherfucking slow. Um, yeah, it's a lot of different little ways, man. The men got to protect themselves out here. Been dealing with heartbreak because we don't deal with heartbreak easy. That shit is different for us, man. It's different. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's it's so much more just an emotional thing. I think just like your male ego and you know shit like that get tested a bit. You know what I'm saying? When a woman gets you in a certain pocket and then break your heart, you just move different after that, man. And it may it may be in a good way, maybe in a bad way, but it mm-hmm. just it affects you so crazy. Um, so just imagine how men are always labeled that men don't know how to open up, they don't know how to express themselves, they don't know how to uh, you know, get out their emotions and all this other you know stuff. We've been taught and built to be tough and don't cry, wipe your tears, man up, all this other shit. So when we deal with heartbreak, man, trust and believe. It's it's ten times harder than y'all think it is. Mm-hmm. And you know, so yeah, it's just just shit's wild, man. But yeah, I think uh wait, let me read this second one before I uh before you even ask. Yeah, I'm gonna do yeah, I'm gonna do this second one. And that's it. We're gonna do make this second one be the last one. We can say the last two for uh for, for Friday. And um we'll do that. Okay. Because I, I definitely don't want it to be a uh, ending on a heartbreak note. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything was all lit on the ending questions, and now I just get all, you know. So let's get this next one out of the way. Um, I think this is something that we can kind of dig into a little bit, make it a little funny. Um, and the question is, fellas, <clears throat> when a woman asks what you do for a living, what do you think she's trying to figure out? Cause I definitely don't think it's what do you what do you do for them? <laughs> um, shit, I don't know, man. I, I I be trying to figure out if they um think if they really just want to go any further than where they are now. Like I mm-hmm. I think they're trying to figure out, you know, money. Like, damn, do I? If I know he only do this, I know it's a possibility that we won't be doing a lot of this. Yeah. You know, so pretty much like he said, how much money you got? Like how much money, not only how much money do you got? I think they're trying to figure out how much money can you spend on them? Mm, That could be something too. Yeah. I think, um, I'm going to put it like this. I think most women, this is my opinion, my opinion only. I think most women ask this question just to see if you do anything first. Like, so what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Just to see like, what the fuck are you into type of thing. But then whatever your answer is, that determines the next level. Oh, you do that. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I could probably deal with that. Or, oh shit, you make money. I can enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on what your answer is, is how they soak that shit in. But I think most women just really want to uh, want to know you do something. They don't want to be with somebody that ain't doing shit. So, you know, so I think it's a very genuine, general and low key conniving question, because I feel like you're I think you're you're covering a lot of areas by asking a very general question. You know what I'm saying? See, and I think men, I don't think we, see, we don't ask women that with that type of intent. We don't never ask women, like, what do you do? That's number one. If we do ask that, we, it's not like the same way that women would ask. It ain't for no type of financial gain for us or what can she buy me? Can she afford a, you know what I'm saying? No. I, I, I think, I would be, I would be, be like, what, we how many kids that, you got? That's, we, <laughs> that's, the, that's our version of that question. <laughs> Yeah, but I honestly think when we um when we ask what you do for a living, by this time you didn't probably pay two or three things. Like you didn't pay for a date mm. or something. You know what I'm saying? Because the mindset of a man these days, we already pretty much have it in our mind. We're gonna have to pay for this. Mm. So 
once a woman pay for something and you like, okay, we take that shit into consideration. We take, we make a note of it. And then, you know, we wind up going out on the second date and we get, and she pays for it again. You know, we, then it's like, Hey, what you do for a living? Cause now I want to know like, okay, what the fuck, you know, what's going on? I'm trying to figure this out. Like I'm going to put a thing on it. Cause I want to know if you just trying to win me over or if this is really how you are because you doing all of this paying on dates and i see that you you make a a a, like a minimum wage type job where you really like really can't afford to be doing this type of shit all the time i'm gonna think you're just doing this to win me over besides you know if you do have a, a a a a wealthier job or a career and you're doing it i can say okay maybe this is just how she is you know to let let me know like hey i got your back sometimes you ain't always got to pay for everything right now see and that's the thing because when the women go back and she's talked to all her girlfriends that's one of the first questions they ask girl what does he do you know what i'm saying because they want to know it ain't got nothing to do with an interest they want to know if he making some good money or not at least of friends when y'all have that conversation with your girls, we you know what that question means then. You know what I'm saying? But when the guys are talking about a girl they just met or somebody they just got their number or they just went out with, our first question is like, hey, dog, so what does she do for a living? I don't ask that type of shit because that's not, we don't care about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But how many kids that motherfucker got is a question. <laughs> like a motherfucker. But um, King, what do you feel like uh, women are asking when they ask what do you do for a living? You think it's just a general no. question? Or do you think it's... I'm going to say for one thing, I'm going to ask you what you do for a living for the simple fact that it's a question that I like to ask. That I'm going to see what type of time you got. Because, mm. like, I need to know. Because I ain't got time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, 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 you got to know, like, if when their time, they're doing a job coincide with yours. So I met, uh, I, remember, uh, I met somebody, the times they work and the times I work, it just was off. I literally would never see them. Right. So it just didn't work. Um, like, I go to work at 7 a.m. or I go to work at 7 at night. Be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? By the time yeah, I get off, you shit be going like in. This. Yeah, by the time yeah. I'm going getting off, they're going in. By the time I'm getting off, they, it, it was just, yeah, I would never see you. Then, like, whenever yeah. they were off, I'm still at work and they just out living their life. I'm like, yeah, not going to work. Exactly. Um, so if I get asked, what um uh what I do for a living? I always think of a few things. They're either trying to figure out how much money I make, how much time I have, or if I'm a hoe. Cause you know, like a lot of people, a lot of females associate what job you have is how much of a hoe you are, mm. or how what time or yeah uh yeah so money, time, and if you're a hoe. And as much as women love a man oh, yeah, in uniform, and, 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 and just and. And then that's another one, just to see if I'm employed, period. Yeah, yeah. They women can tell what type of who you are by the type of job you have because men oh, take females think of, um, females got in their head that if you if a man works certain jobs, oh that nigga a hoe. Yep. Immediately. You can't be a cop. You can't be a cop. You got too much leeway. I mean, I got one of those jobs that you automatically think that you know I'm a hoe. So then that, the next question, like, so what type of uh, route do you have? As soon as I tell them, like, young, it's not but old ass motherfucking people on my route. They're like, oh, okay. They, they, that, that fear goes mm. completely away. You can't work for Metro. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't work for Metro. You can't work for anything that, that's like a service <laughs> you got to dress up for. Like, and it's nah, you a hoe. And th the thing about that is that niggas do whole shit when they got that type of attire, when they know that they got some pull and they know they can flex their schedule. Shit. Like I said, like, bro, girl, like, and then if any chick ever see me in my full outfit, my uniform, oh, they they are very relaxed and comfortable. Like, that's what you wear? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. good. Because <laughs> I am not. People always like, oh, everybody like a man in uniform. See me in my whole uniform. You you ain't nobody checking for my whole uniform. <laughs> Pussy dry right up. Like, God damn. Dry as I'm, fuck. I'm not fucking <laughs> this nigga. Oh, I fucked him last night. Ew. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you get dressed in the morning for work. 
Young, she like, oh, fuck. Don't, don't try to look at you. I'll wait till you get home and put on your regular clothes. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, man. That's funny. Oh, Flat, has any women ever told you that you were sexy in your in your in any of your uniforms? Like, that did it for them? Like, hell no. Nah. Nah? Mm. Mm-mm. They hell no. They like I know I've seen one girl. We was um one time we went to Walmart to go get some gloves. I needed some gloves in the from the trash truck. Now I got on trash truck clothes. And I mean, I've heard people say I like a man in a uniform. And it's I mean, it ain't gotta necessarily be like a police uniform or a service uniform. Just a uniform. Just a, a uniform, you know. And I think I think those are the type of women that's just be glad that a motherfucker got a job. But mm. um, Bro. yeah, they they. I mean, I've been hit on because I have on a a, a uniform. Mm. But um, my house got trashed too, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, can he flirt right with that type of? <laughs> Bro, I ain't never been hit on in my motherfucking postal outfit. Never. That's crazy. You've never been hit on in your postal outfit? Because nah. they probably already think you a hoe. Yeah. No, no, no. I think I, I think I look more scary. I mean, you know what? I think my postal outfit make me look scary in, in, in uh, uh, what's that shit called? I look crazy and scary in my postal outfit, Joe. Like, it's just like, it's, I look, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take a picture in my whole outfit how I deliver mail. <laughs> <laughs> Rate this nigga one to ten. Oh man, that'd be Bruh. funny. Oh, oh, I have heard. Well, some people like my hospital uniform when I when I go to the hospital. They like that one. Mm, I'm sick, flatliner. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, don't yeah. do no coughing around me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, coronavirus. Exactly. Coronavirus. Don't do no, ah, I've been waiting to use that don't button. Don't do no coughing. Oh, Flat, man. <laughs> Flat, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no bullshit. No bullshit. Yeah, right. Away from me. <laughs> I just went and uh, got tested the other day. My shit came back negative again, of course, but yeah. Man. Well, shit, man. Look, we pushing two hours. Yeah, it's an we, hour should do like a, uh, we should do like a all of us have on our work uniform. Uh, like a little... Have a three uh, picture post of all of us in our worker uniform. Well, we gotta we gotta work out how we could do like some type of poll or something, or some type of mm. voting or something, some shit. We could figure it out, but we should definitely do that. That'd be funny. My I'm trash with that. Truck uniform fucked up. I gotta get some new ones. Hold on, I'm writing that shit down. <laughs> I'll be looking like I'm gonna uh, deliver your mail and break in your house. Eat you know, all your food. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Raider gonna wear? I'm gonna pull up like this, nigga. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Shit. It's like, nah, I gotta, I got a few, uh, I got a few go-tos when I gotta work certain things or whatever. Um, a lot of different jobs and shit. Like when I do this whole assistant property management shit, like it's not, I'm not dressed up, but I'm not in uniform either. So I don't know. We'll, we'll make it interesting. We'll make it interesting. But, I'm with that. I got that written down, man. Um, again, we're gonna save the last two topics for uh for Friday, man. It's a Monday night. It's already two yeah. hours past eleven. We're gonna go ahead and end this thing off right here, man. But let me go ahead and give a round of applause to y'all for being so dope and just sticking with us and laughing throughout all these shenanigans and crazy shit. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to it, man. We'll go ahead and get these uh these good old shout outs out the way. First and foremost, y'all already know what it is. We're gonna give a shout out to Premier Cocktails. Make sure y'all go to www.permitcocktails.com, man. Get your cocktails kid all over the nation. We love them. They love us. Sponsor the show. Amazing drinks. We were just talking about it last episode, too. Damn, man. 151 had everything. Because Ty had the drink with her and all that. Man, we was out here. Um, So make sure y'all go watch episode 151. <laughs> um, What else we got going on, man? Y'all already know what it is with no bacon. Hey. Also, sponsors the show. We love and appreciate Christmas so much, man. Make sure y'all go to www.nobaconpiggybank.com and hit her up on Instagram at nobacon.piggybank. She has all types of creative things that she make. Y'all saw uh, <clears throat> y'all saw King with the, the pig. 
his whole piggy bank thing going on. Y'all also see the money bags that we always have on deck close by real quick. Always I there, always the present. she made for me. Yes, indeed. In case you got some bread you want to put in there. What the fuck is this? Oh, I was great. Say, what's in my money bag? I got to give me a pig now. Y'all be stunting. But Crystal did it, man. Shout out to her, man. Y'all make sure y'all show no uh, no bacon some love. Um, also, man, y'all know we got the link tree. Please go check that out. It has everything live eyes, man. It has the link to our sponsor. That means that no piggy bank is there. That means that Premier Cocktails is there. All of our Instagram stuff, our Facebook stuff, our email. If y'all want to send us some, any type of topics or y'all want to be a guest, sponsor, whatever the case may be. Y'all want to work, collab, however we want to do it. Let's do it. It also have our donation information. If you want to send us some cool stuff so we can go ahead and get this podcast to the next level. And we also have our fan mail information. If y'all want to send us some cool gifts, we'll show them off on the show. You know what I'm saying? Post pictures, all that cool stuff. And we love and appreciate y'all when y'all do it. Um, I didn't tell y'all to do this, but shit, since y'all still here, please hit the thumbs up on the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell, hit the all, and all that good stuff. And if you've done all this already, which most of you have, go tell a friend to come subscribe to the show. We had a brick wall right now that we've never seen before. <laughs> and we trying to get over that hump, man. So let's make it happen by Friday. Please, 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 and thank you. Um, shout out to everybody who's been promoting the show, though. I haven't seen y'all, man. Y'all posting y'all stories and all that good stuff, man. We love it. Um, again, showing some love to Joy B. She's still the last one to get her ticket. So she's going to keep getting the love to somebody get her. And also, we are on all streaming platforms when it comes to podcasts, man. That is Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. Everything is there, man. And even on all the other ones, if you want to hear our show, if you can't watch it live or if you can't watch it while you're at work, if you want to just drive or whatever the case on your walk or your run when you're doing your fitness challenge, you can just listen to us act a fool. Go and check us out, man, on any one of these platforms. You can listen to all of the shows. Each show that we do goes live the very next morning. This show here will be live tomorrow morning, Tuesday, because tonight is Monday. And yeah, make sure y'all do that. We love and appreciate that. And I just mentioned the fitness challenge. And yes, there it is right there. LVP fitness challenge is the hashtag. Make sure you use it. Hashtag LVP fitness challenge. Whatever you want to do when it comes to taking care of yourself, man, fitness, if you're lifting weights, if you're jogging, if you're meal prepping, if you're stepping on your scale, if you're doing anything, just use hashtag LVP fitness challenge as the hashtag on social media. We'll see it. We'll love it. We'll repost it and all that good stuff. We're trying to get our bodies right for the summer and take care of ourselves for a lifetime. Other than that, I think that is it. I'm going to give one more shout out to my guy, Chaos, because again, I don't think I see him tonight. But I love when the fellas can come through and show some love, man. I love when the fellas can come and support the channel. Um, so shout out to him for being this week's Merch Monday. Again, if you got anything from the merch, any t-shirts, any mugs, any masks, any hoodies, tank tops, coat, whatever it is, just post it, send it on to us, man. We'll make sure you end up on Merch Monday. Um, huh. now the merch store has a lot more options now, and that was the wall that I ran into today <laughs> going to upload new merch for live eyes. Um, and some of these I would like to explore. So, again, that's always been top priority. I got these designs done, it's just the uploading process now, and it's some new shit you can get on there. But this is going to be a good, good uh store in a second because they have a lot more options, man. So, keep posting on that again. I will post when everything is live. But just do know that behind the scenes, I'm working every day to make sure this stuff comes out right. And when it's possible, you will see it. And other than that, I feel like that's everything. My notes are all checked off. And I'm good to go, man. Yeah, I got uh, some things. All right. Ooh, ooh, Hold before King go, read that. Can somebody read that for me? So I'll make sure I write that. Won't forget it. Um, you're in a relationship and you still have pictures from past relationships. Your significant other asks you to get rid of them. What do you do? Here we have it. Mm. Okay. All right, all right. Um y'all can go ahead. If y'all have any more ended questions, send them through. Thanks, uh, that girl Ty for that one. Um, King, you said you had two things. What you got? Yeah, it's funny because I was looking and I seen how they saw so we talking about the usher for the um world culture. Mm -hmm. They talking about like the 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 person who, who had said that he had a he had uh 
threw the fucking little Usher Bucks, said that that wasn't the only money he threw. Like mm-hmm. he actually spent thousands on dances and bottle service. He said he, yeah. he left the fake Usher, Usher Bucks as promotion. Right. So it that just ain't came like the only crazy when they saw that. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the only money yeah. he spent. Yeah, like he spent yeah, some yeah. money there. Mm-hmm. So like they, but like I guess her, she didn't make that clear in the comments. So now everybody just thinking he just spent, they just did that money. Period. <laughs> uh, and two, I just want to go a shout out. Uh, did you know uh, our cousin got married? That's all right. Mm-mm. Yeah, she got fucking married, yo. Oh, shit. Shout out, Cousin Desiree. Let me go ahead and give her the yeah. rules right now. Uh, you know, she ain't even watching this motherfucker, but shout ain't. out to her. But we're going to give her love anyway. We appreciate her. Yeah. Shout out around. to Black Love getting it's married. It's like funny. It's like she just got engaged. I think they just did one of those. Got engaged right. and got married ASAP. Let's go. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. That's, that's good, because she, she, she cool, folks. So shout out to her and her, her new husband. Good shit, good shit, man. Flat, you got anything, my G? No, man. I'm cool. Tired. All right. I feel you. All right, make sure I save these last two right here. Hit save on that. Man, we can go ahead and get up out of here. Um, Any more, any questions? I don't see anything. All right, we'll take what we got. If y'all got anything else, man, y'all can send it to us, man. Tag us and stuff on Facebook or, you know, DMs or whatever y'all want to do text messages whatever we appreciate y'all so 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 much man great 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 episode as always y'all be safe be blessed we will see y'all on friday and without further ado flatliner you can take us out nini bay in the building by the way hey late as a motherfucker go ahead put your coat back on go back in the car (laughs) but man y'all already know what it is y'all be cool y'all be safe don't put your hands where you won't put your face. And remember, put the guns down and pick the gloves up. And we out. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Put your voice, you need to give him a voice. You know you like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give you the 70%. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that other? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Oh, man.